Yo, what's going on? Michael King. Yeah, the king. Yeah, aka King Riches. He's back again with another broadcast. Yeah, big up to all the old subscribers, new subscribers. Uh, make sure you have the notification bell ringing on my channel so that you don't miss any of the quality, underrated content over here. Yeah, this is going to be a very, very interesting video. <laughs> this is going to be a very interesting video. This is a caller show. Okay, for anyone that doesn't understand, um, I posted a link, which is a StreamYard link underneath in the description box. And it is in the live chat right next to this video and anyone can call in the show i am open to speaking to anyone no matter no matter what you are black white man woman it doesn't matter yeah i want to hear everyone's opinion all right and also after the video make sure you leave a comment in the comment section under the video when it's done yeah um if you want to support the channel you can hit the super chat in the live chat right now as we're live or you can hit the cash app, which is pound sign King Riches one. Yeah, it's very important that we all work together to make this channel grow because there's a lot of sabotage going on. Yeah, my videos seem to not get promoted. They don't get pushed. It, and, and it doesn't even matter how many likes I get now. You know, I'm just not getting subs and views. So like everybody put in the effort, you know, whether leave a comment um, like the video, tell tell me your like count, whatever, whatever. Anyway, yeah, forget about all that, all right? This video right here, the title is Black Men Are Simps for White Women, right? Now, there's a lot of people that are not going to like this. <laughs> and it's especially going to be the brothers that are doing IR dating with um, white women who you know they're probably gonna say oh it's because women in our community don't act right and stuff like that and blah 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 and look my thing is this there are problems in our community in terms of like between the men and women in our community yes obviously there's a lot of crazy dating requirements and delusion going on yes absolutely there's a lot of people who are asking for things that they don't qualify for yes but at the same time that doesn't mean that women from other communities are automatically the best option because in many times in my videos you've heard me say that in particular white women are not for the most part inclined to date black guys most white women are not really desiring to couple up with black men seriously now you know there are exceptions to everything there are exceptions to everything but but guys really need to think outside of their little corner or their anecdotal experiences i like to talk about general the majority so if you live in a in a melting pot like london where you know obviously seeing ir dating is a standard thing obviously to you if you haven't traveled it will look like i'm talking rubbish or if you are somebody that lives in somewhere like miami where everybody's interracial dating yeah it's gonna look like that's the whole world but it's not so what you really need to understand is that if you look at it on the grand scheme of things most people most ethnic groups stick to their own most ethnic groups stick to their own, i.e. most of the time you're going to see black men with black women. Most of the time you're going to see white men with white women. Most of the time you're going to see Asian men with Asian women. That's a standard thing that goes on throughout the whole world. Just because you have been able to date Beckys your whole life doesn't mean anything. So I'm, I'm, I'm happy we got that out the way. <laughs> all right and listen hey i'm a guy that's done a lot of interracial dating i've done a lot of interracial bruv yeah <laughs> but at the same time i know the truth i realize the truth i listen i grew up in southeast london which is a very multicultural environment bruv 
But guess what? I live in an environment now which is not multicultural, it is white predominant. And there is a huge contrast. Huge. Huge. Let, yeah, there are going to be a few Beckys out there that want to get with a Tyrone. Of course there are. But that doesn't represent the majority because the majority of them are, they, bro, they have a funny energy when you're around. Just keep, I'm just keeping it real. They have a nervous, funny energy. They, they're looking at you with that weird kind of expression. That's just the way it is. And in my opinion, from the things I I see on, on, on social media, the comments I get under my videos, in my opinion, a lot of black guys are simps for Becky's, bruv. A lot of brothers are simping for Becky's, bro. A lot of you brothers will um, turn a blind eye to certain characteristics that you saw as undesirable in black women but if those same undesirable traits are in white women you don't mind <laughs> you don't mind bruv let me tell you one thing about me bro i don't never ever scrape the bottom of the barrel i don't scrape the bottom of the barrel in my community or in another man's community definitely not and i've said this many times I'd rather date an average plain Jane black chick than go and scrape the barrel of a non-black community. But some of you brothers don't have that same mindset. Some of you brothers are starstruck if a Becky likes you, bruv. You are starstruck, bro. I see it in the comment section under my videos when I talk about race, race and dating. And a lot of you guys, I'm sorry, bruv, I don't agree with you. And again, again, I'm a guy that's done a lot of interracial dating, bruv. And 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 another thing is I've dated in I've dated non-black girls that are wanted by non-black men in their own community. I don't bruh. A lot of you guys talking can't say the same thing. A lot of you guys, you're dating Beckys that are ducks. And then you want to come on the internet talking about black women. Bro, I'm sorry, you're not in, you're not really qualified to speak. Some of you black guys, you ain't even dated outside your race and you're talking about Beckys. <laughs> Some of you have not even dated outside your race. Some of you guys, yeah. And I'm just keeping it real. You know me, it's Michael King, King Riches. It's your bro talking, bro. Is your bro talking? Some of you guys have not even dated outside your race and you're talking about Becky's, bro. Let's keep it 100. Now, I understand a lot of you brothers are frustrated with the way some black women act. Some black women have put themselves out there in a kind of undesirable way. I understand where you're coming from. But that doesn't mean you should go and idolise white women, bro. Because really and truly, you shouldn't idolise any chicks. You shouldn't be idol worshipping anyone. But from what I see out there, social media, YouTube, Instagram, all of these things, bro, <laughs> a, lot of you bro a lot of you black guys are simps, bro. I'm sorry. A lot of you black guys are simps. You have to keep it real. We have to keep it real. A lot of a lot of black guys have a have a disdain for black women. Let's keep it real. At this point, at this point right now, yeah, you got guys, you got guys that are just blatant with it. You know, oh, I don't date black women. I don't date black women. I don't care. Like blah blah blah. You got them ones. Then you got the ones that are like, oh, I like black women, but it just seems like I only ever date non-black. It's like, bro, come on, bro. <laughs> come on, bro. You know what I'm saying? And then you got to do But I just find it weird that, like, anybody, whether it's a man or woman, if you talk, if you, if you have this weird fetish for people outside of your own race, I just find that weird. I'm sorry. Like, you've got brothers in here that are going to say, oh, I just want a white girl. Or, oh, I just want an Asian girl. I'm sorry, but do those white girls or Asian girls want you? <laughs> do they want you? 
Do you have a proven track record of getting good looking women outside your race? I don't care how many ducks you've gone out with. I don't care how many ducks you've dated or been in relationships with. Some of you guys get starstruck if a girl's got pale skin. Some of you guys get starstruck if a girl's got paler skin than you or your mama or your sister or your daddy, bruv. So you get starstruck. Maybe you've lived in an area where it's only been black people around there. So as soon as you get out there in the world, you see, you come across some, some white chicks or non-black chicks. Now you, 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 you don't even know how to act, bruv. You lost your mind. <laughs> in your brain, you start thinking they're automatically better, bro. No, they're women. They're, women are women, bro. They have the same triggers, the same motivators. Hypergamy doesn't have a colour. Let me say that again. Hypergamy does not have a colour, bro. It's just that some people are more vocal than others. That's all it is, bro. No, you brothers need to get this through to your thick heads. <laughs> so look, at the end of the day, when I hear when I hear black guys go on and on and on about how they want to get a white girl or an Asian girl or this that, it just lets me know that you don't really have that much experience with them. That's where it lets me know. Because any guy that's like me that has been out there, who has been active, who has dated outside his race consistently with good looking women outside his race, you will know that. There's headaches with there's headaches with all of them, bruv. <laughs> You're gonna get a headache regardless of what colour they are. So stop acting, bruh. Like I just think that a lot of black men are simps for, for, for white women and non-black women. I just think that, innit? Like, that's just what I think. And with this message, I'm not saying you should not date outside your race. Yeah, before anyone gets butt hurt. Because I know you, a lot of you black guys listening are getting butt hurt, bruv. Yeah? <laughs> Especially, I know a lot of black guys in America are getting upset hearing this, bruv. I'm just keeping it real. Yeah? But the, the fact of the matter is, like, bruh. Bruh. It, it, it's not what you think, bro. It's not what you think. So anyway, listen, this is the caller show, yeah? I want you lot to call in the show. Let me know what you think, whether you're black, white, man, woman. Let me know what you think, if you agree, if you disagree, if you think I'm talking a load of crap. Like, call in the show, bruv. Yeah? All right, we've got a first caller, Brad. Yo. Yo. Um, everything, everything that you're saying, man, is a thousand percent spot on. Mm. Um. I just want to add something to it. Um, actually, I, I want to ask you this question as well. Do you think that white people... Okay, no. Do you think that the red pill even applies to white people like that? Yeah. Because... Do, okay, let, okay, but, but, but let, let me follow up with, with this question, though. Do you think that the average white person... And this is going to sound fucked up, but subconsciously, I know this is true. Hey, don't talk... Don't, don't say nothing too crazy, because I want to keep this yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Uh. Yeah, do you think that the average white person even knows who Kevin Samuels is, knows, like, the red pill and all of this stuff, and, like, oh, women are this, women are that, because it's like, I'm around, I'm around white, po white people every day, and it's like, they just live, like, an entirely different existence compared to black people, you know what I yeah. mean? Yeah, yeah. It's, it's like, it's, it's like, they, it's like, it's like, it's like, oh, it's like, if you ask, like, the average typical black guy on the street, he knows Fresh and Fit. He knows Kevin Samuels. He knows like all. Yeah, the yeah, yeah. Don't kids. start name dropping all these guys that don't help me grow my channel. Don't yeah. don't start name dropping them. Go on. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Whereas like the average white guy, he, he 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 doesn't know what you're talking about when it comes to like internet buzz. You know what I mean? Yeah, because like bro, bro, they. This is the fact. This is the fact. Yeah, black people. In the West, in particular, yeah, because I'm from England and I lived in America, so those, these are the two places I know predominantly, and these are pro probably the two worst places, yeah, in terms of dating, anyway, right? Basically, like white people are in a, their own bubble, bruv. 
They're in their own bubble, bro. Because if you think about it, yeah, like, white dudes, they, they, do, they do have to face, like, hypergamy and, and delusional dating standards and stuff like that. But it's like, you're a white guy, bruv. Do you get what I'm saying? Like, because at the end of the day, as a black guy in a predominantly white country with, with high um, economics, we're at the bottom, bruv. We're, we're, we're at the bottom in terms of economics and we're at the bottom in terms of um, um, uh, societal ranking. Do you get what I'm saying? Because all the degenerate things, all the de de degenerate images or stereotypes in society are attached to black guys in particular. Criminal element, laziness, not having money, you know, just ignorance. They, they're all attached to us. <laughs> Do you get what I'm saying? So, and this is this is why it's so crazy that like, a lot of black guys, they run around and try to act like, oh, it's going to be easy for a black guy to go and get some bad beef outside of, outside of the black community. It's not going to be easy, bro. It's not. And I think them guys that do that stuff are simping and lying and selling dreams, to be honest. Go on. Yeah. No, I agree. No, I agree because it's like um, there's this there's this white guy that I'm really good friends with, and it's like him and I we like similar things, we have similar things in common, but it's like the things that like he watches on like social media on TV, it's like things that are like completely different than mine, mm -hmm. and it's like you know, and it's like it just lets me know right then and there, it's like. They, they just live, like, in an entirely different world compared to us. And it's like, you know, I kind of expect that in a way. But it's like, to, 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 that, to that crazy extent, it's to the point where it's like, wow. I, like, I, I'm, I'm, I'm at loss for words, you know. And this is a white guy that, like, I've known for, like, my whole life. But, like, even, like, in that moment, I'm just like, it just goes to show how, like, we, we live on different planets. Yeah, and this and, and, and it's funny because when you when you talk to your white white male friends, they always assume that you you're getting loads of girls constantly. They always assume that you you've got this mad rotation of girls coming in constantly, constantly, constantly. And some black guys do, but yeah. they think that all black guys have. <laughs> right. Right. They think every black guy has got a fifteen inch trouser sausage. They think every black guy can dance. They think every black guy's athletic. You know, girls are just falling at our feet. Bro, is it really? Like, is it really like that, bro? Like, the black the black guys that the black guys that do really well with women in and outside of their our own community are Tyrones. These are guys that have superhero powers, bruv. You know what I'm saying? Me to a certain extent, I have superhero powers because I don't look average, bro. I'm not average. So obviously there's gonna and even with that being said, I'm still not like some mad celebrity like athlete or something do you get what i'm saying so there's a lot of girls that will see me and they don't care if i look don't i look above average they don't care because i don't have enough superpowers do you get what i'm saying whereas like bro like in my area i see i see black guys that are on their own all the time walking up and down on their own but you'll see a lot of white boys and they will have girls with them bruv and these white guys are extra average and this is just something i've i've noticed from a long time bro like you get what I'm saying? So, that's the facts, like, bro. Yeah, like, even, like, even with, like, your YouTube channel, like, has there ever been, like, a white woman that's called into your show and, like, discuss, you know what I mean? No. Not that I can remember, exactly. no. No. Exactly. Like, this is, what I'm, this is what I mean. They live in an entirely different world compared to us. I think white, white, women, white women are in their own personal bubble. They're in their own right. bubble because... White women have always been socially engineered to be the pinnacle of beauty. Like, they are the woman, the blonde hair, blue eyes, white woman is the, the right. damsel in distress. She's the one that everyone has to kill themselves to, to save her from the monster. Yeah. Like, she's always that one, in it. Like, do you get what I'm saying? Like, I think it's kind of changing now. To, to be honest, I think now it's more like the racially ambiguous girl. She's becoming the main chick in, in current society, like... Do you get what I'm saying? But nevertheless, like, white, white women are, like, the ones that have to be protected, the ones that are pedestalised, you know, they're always given positive reinforcement, po positive stereotypes, like, yeah. Yeah. 
You got said so, yeah. But anyway, what, what else did you want to say? Because I got other people waiting, and your yeah. your background's a bit noisy, bro. Yeah, I know. No, no. Thank you for letting me on, brother. Um, um, I, I support the channel. I share with my friends, and yeah, you're you're, you're amazing. Thank you so much for having me on. All right, no. All right, no worries, my bro. Hey, keep watching and keep supporting, my bro. Take care, yeah. All right, yeah. All right, all right, cool. All right, big up, Brad, man. His background was a bit noisy still. All right, let me um, shout out the super chat. We got Daniel for the super chat. He says, I dated a white girl back in the day, but I'm always going to go for my black women. I hear that, bro. Um, big up to MJ for the super chat. He says, MJ, he says, here in America, black dudes love overweight white women, especially in the South. Bro, this is a thing that is uh, that goes on all over the world, bro. You know what I'm saying? Because, like, come on, like, I think that a lot of black dudes, they... A lot of black dudes like bigger women, right, in general, yeah. But then, like, there, I feel like there's a lot of black guys that will complain about black women being, like, you know, a little bit overweight. But then they'll go and get white women that are overweight. You know what I'm saying? Like, and it's just like, what's the point, bro? Like, if you're going to do that, you might as well just... Bruh. <laughs> I just find that embarrassing, innit? We got Daniel for the Super Chat. He says, I think it's too much triple X... Uh, movies are consuming, in my opinion. Nah, I, I hear that. Yeah, 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 yeah. That that definitely does add to it. All right, Sophia. Hello. Yo, what's going on? Good evening. Good evening. What's going on? I'm good. How are you? I'm I'm peachy. I'm peachy. What do you think about the topic? Black men are simps for white women. I think it's interesting. I wouldn't say they're simps for white women. I would just say that. It's a lot more publicized in mm. a positive light, I would say, more than black and, well, black man, black woman relationships. Um, you know, for example, let's look at Samuel L. Jackson. He's married to a black woman for probably like 30 plus years now. Mm. You've got Elo J married to a black woman, LeBron James married to a black woman. There are just so many men who are with black women and actually have been together for Morris Chestnut. Now we know, okay, you're not a, a woman, but for us black women, when Morris Chestnut was in the earlier years, we loved him off, you know? Mm. He was very handsome, attractive, and I think um, you know, he's married to a black woman, but you don't hear anything like positive about these kind of people. So I feel like it's a lot more publicized to have a black guy with a white woman um, mm. in, especially in this, you know, social media environment, because it's it seems more like you've attained it, you've attained the unattainable. You know what I'm saying? Like it seems so out of reach, especially where you're coming from. This black community, all you see is black. You're mm. used to your own environment. When you get someone else, it's like, wow, she's blonde and beautiful. You know, nice skin. I mean, you know, we got all that nice skin, but you know what I'm saying? It's a bit different. So I feel like. You know, it's a lot more publicized because it seems as though black men have attained what they couldn't attain before. So what you're so saying, so what you're saying is basically that um, there's loads of examples of black guys with black women, which I agree with. Like predominantly, mo no matter where you are in the world, the majority of black men are going to be black women. That is a that's a standard thing. But it's Absolutely. like when 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 there are examples of like black guys with uh, non black women. They kind of they put that in everybody's face. They make sure they they put that in everyone's face because it's something that's more like like wow. It's like more it has more yeah. shock value to it. Like do you get what I'm exactly. saying? And yeah. then like it's more of a it's more of a, a trending topic. I think that's I think that's pretty correct because think about this. Like you mentioned, LeBron James is with a black woman, yeah, and you know all these kids are black. But then you know when his son went to the prom with a white chick, that became like wow. Like everybody started talking about, it. and I was like why why does it, why is anyone even talking about this? This ain't even worth talking about, bro. Yeah, exactly. I had no idea until I saw it on someone's YouTube channel. Um, you know, because they don't really show anything positive about black people, well, black women. So it came up on my feed. And I'm like, okay, so he's in school dating a white girl. That's fine. I don't have a, personally, I don't have an issue with men dating who they want. Because I'm not living in the house with you 24-7. I don't have to share a bed. I don't have to see in the morning where you got, you know, stank breath or something like that. I don't know what you're doing with your life. So if you want to marry someone coming from a different culture, I'm completely okay with that because you have to live that life, yeah. not me. Yeah. A lot of relationships, I mean, look at Dr. Dre. 
I'm sure they were having problems in their marriage prior to the divorce, but you never saw those things. You just saw the divorce. What we saw was just a public divorce. We didn't see any documentations of what she got per se, except for what was stated, but you don't know what their life was, was like. In the in, in the privacy of the let home. me let me ask you this then so you 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 say you don't feel like black guys are simp you you don't feel like black guys simp for um, non black women particularly white I, women I do think they simp to some degree just because you know I think white women can be very I'm not gonna be like, I'm not gonna pretend like white women aren't beautiful because they they are especially in their younger years they can be exceptionally beautiful yeah in their younger oh. years I'm glad you. <laughs> I'm glad she's because wait, listen, let's keep it real. We all know certain people do not age well, innit? Certain people out there do not age well. There's a there's a pattern of certain groups that do not age well, bruv. We all know that, innit? But carry on. You know, so I mean you can see them in the younger years, they're very, very beautiful. But I think past thirty, things start to decline. You know, a lot 30? of women, more like twenty three blood. <laughs> It, it depends on lifestyle though it depends on lifestyle because like like where i live now yeah most of these chicks these 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 beckys that where i live yeah they're all drinking smoking they're doing narcotics staying out all night sleeping with loads of boys from an early age bruv like it catches up bruv so you you so think about it your genes are already predisposed to not age well and then you add all of that into it as well bruv like bro come right. on bruv <laughs> Go on. And you know what? Let's be honest. Social media it has a lot of filters, so you can be looking at someone looking exceptionally beautiful, but when you when you see them in real life, it's a completely different thing. Yeah. Like yeah. I personally grew up in England at a later age. I'm you know Caribbean, moved to the U.S. Now I'm in the U.K. So I kind of spent my later teens here, and you know I had friends who were white that were dating black guys, and we didn't have a problem with that. Mm. Um, because. They grew up with us, so they understood us. So that to me, that wasn't an issue. Yeah. Now she has a baby. She's married to a black guy. Has like two kids. So you know, it's not really an issue for us. Who you know, you see them grow up with you. She was like one of us, always hanging out. And so there was not, a, there was never. A yeah, it's not. That's not an issue. Yeah, but what 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 we're talking about here is that like that. It's not an issue of the the chicks per se. Cause chicks are like women are gonna go with whoever gets their juices flowing. Yeah, yeah. boom. Yeah. yeah, but it's the fact this this video here is about the black guys who they are simping, like they are doing the most. Like they're saying all they're making all these derogatory comments about black women, and then they're trying to make out like, oh, I just go and get you a white woman, just go and get you an Asian woman, and it's just Except, like I yeah. feel like. And listen, again, I'm saying this again. I've I've done interracial dating and I've interracially dated more successfully than these guys talking, bruv. Mm -hmm. But I realised the the, the, the the honest truth about it. Like, most of you guys, yeah, that are so bang on trying to get a, a chick outside your race. Bro, bro, like, you're, you're probably not going to get one of the, the nice looking ones. I'm just being real. Unless you've got some superpowers going on somewhere... Unless you're exceptionally good, good looking, or you're an athlete, or an entertainer, or you got money, or I don't know, you need one of those, bruv. Because if you yeah. don't, if you don't, and you go outside your race, you're more than likely gonna be scraping the barrel, bruv. You're probably gonna be getting one of them chicks that them man there, they don't even want those chicks, bro. I'm just being real. But majority of people do end up dating in their own race anyway, because that's you date what you look like first of all. Mm. Um, but I feel like if black men do date out usually white women would qualify them with something so they're not just gonna forget their own race and come to you because you know you're just a sort of sweet talker or something you know what I mean? yeah why would they why would they why would they forget about their own race when uh captain america's white iron man's white batman's white james bond is right. white like the, the the reinforcement is there for them to like their own we are in white right. predominant countries. Why would they be like, oh no, forget all of that. I want Tyrone. I want King Riches. Why would they <laughs> do you get unless they grew up in a certain like area, like the ones you were talking about, your friends, who grew up right, in a yeah. multicultural, mo mixed environment, that makes sense. Do you get what I'm saying? But like I don't know, but go on, what do you think about that? Um, I also let me just give you a little bit of 
you another example. Okay, so we all know Russell Wilson and Sierra, right? And Sierra was getting dragged a lot because of Russell dating her. And even he was getting dragged as well because of dating her with a child. Hmm. But when you actually looked at Russell's history, he met his first wife when he was in high school. I think it was 2006. And then she was a white girl, right? And then he went through high school and college with her, married her, I think uh, married her in 2012, and then he divorced her in 2014 and then got married to Sierra. And in the relationship, they had no kids, right? So he left that relationship, I think it was eight, nine years with no children. And apparently she also cheated on him with one of his teammates. Mm. But no one really thinks about that. They just see Sierra as, oh, she has a baby mama. Mm. I mean, she's a baby mama. But maybe Russell wanted something different. Maybe he actually said, well, this is something I'm willing to sacrifice because Yes, Sierra has a child, but I see this and this and this. She could be a good mom or whatever the case may be. But let's be honest, out of all the women in the industry, Sierra is probably one of the better rappers, right? She's one of the most decent women in the industry. Is it? How do you know? Do you know her? I don't know her. So you don't know? You can't say that. You can't say that. Okay. Okay, fine. All you know, all you know, just like all I know, is that she had a baby. Hold on. All you know is just like all I know. She had a baby with Future when Future already had babies with other women. So she added herself to the roster. So that's not that that's not smart. That's not smart behavior at all. <laughs> apart, apart, apart from that, I would say she's probably one of the most decent rappers. I mean, look, we don't know much about Beyonce either, to be fair. But apparently, James what what, what why? Okay, but what makes yeah. you say that she's one of the most decent rappers? She's not a rapper, know. she's a singer, but what makes her so decent in your opinion? I don't know, you don't see much about her like that everywhere. I mean, come on, if you type Cardi B's name and you hear old type of foolishness, you know, there's just so much going on with her and Nicki Minaj. And you do I know, you think. do know, you do know people do a lot of dirt, like, low-key, you know that, right? Yeah, of course, I'm not going to say she hasn't. Apparently, <laughs> I'm just saying, I'm just letting you know that people do stuff quietly, and at the end of the day, yeah... Like, again, she's a proven track record of liking bad boys. So, oh, yeah, that is, true. That that is, is true. not really the best CV or resume, is it? Yeah, but I mean, what I'm saying is maybe for him, there was something for him that he said he could sacrifice whatever that might be. Because, you know, if he's in his previous marriage, his previous lady cheated on him with his teammate, maybe he wanted something different. I don't know what that might be. Um, but he fancied like her. He fancied her and wanted to sleep with her. That's what happened. <laughs> go on, anyway. Go on, carry on, carry on. I mean, it's just like you don't hear anything. I mean, I'm a fan of Simone Biles. I'm pretty sure most people know her. She's dating the NFL player. You don't hear anything about it. Like, I'll be watching some of these YouTube channels, like especially the ones who are always promoting black women in such a bad light. And I'm like, okay, so now you have Simone Biles dating an NFL player. No one says anything. I'm mm. like, why is that not something that you talk about? Why do you not promote someone like her in the media? Mm. She's a great athlete. She's successful. Um, I'm not. I can't speak too much about her personal life per se, but all around, I think she represents women, young women, in a quite a decent way. Yeah, but like, yeah, but let's keep it. Yeah, but let's keep it real. Even the even the females on YouTube, they don't talk about her either. Definitely not, and that's why I'm saying that it's an issue because. We seem to be so self-destructive as a race that we can't just seem to get out of under ourselves. It's like, why do you want to destruct your own community? And personally, for me, I'm a good woman. I would think so. So I feel like... Are you? (laughs) (laughs) Go on. I would think so. So I feel like when you see men or women talking about black women in such a bad light, I'm like, well, what about the good ones? Like, you're putting all of us in the same basket, and mm. then you're telling men to run off to another race, and then we're just left over here, the good ones. Yeah, no, I, I agree with you, and that's why, that's why even when I do say stuff that is kind of like critiquing sisters, yeah, I always say not all, like, and I know it's kind of cringe that I have to say it, but it is true, it is not all, like, and, you know, even when I have critiqued sisters, like, I still put it across that, like, boom, at the end of the day, like, 
you know, you running off to another community doesn't mean that that's going to be a better option. It doesn't mean that, you know, these women are better. Like, everybody's got their, their problems and, you know, whatever. So, at the end of the day, like, you really just got to... Um, just have a very balanced mind and a clear head and and know the game you're playing like do you get what i'm saying as especially as a black guy you got to understand yes mo like most of these most of these non-black women they're not they're not really trying to deal with a black guy they're not bro like why would they like why would they you have to be really honest like why if every black guy watching yeah if you was a white woman yeah or you was an indian or asian woman think about it why would you choose a black guy Think about it. Like, why? What would make you, besides the physicality of fifteen-inch sausage, yeah? Which all black guys don't have fifteen-inch sausages, yeah? Why? Why would you? Why would you forget about the men in your own race, or forget about white men who are are um, broadcast as the the superheroes of of mankind? Why would you forget about those to get a black guy? Why? In a predominantly white country, why would you do that? Can I share a personal experience, right? Go on. So, this is a personal experience where I was actually left for a white girl, right? So, I'm gonna just give you a personal experience. So, basically, I met this guy first before before her. She's European, so she came in from Europe. Europe, like I wouldn't really think where it is, but you know, one of those non non like really non English speaking, um, but. From what I observed, I would say that it was prob there are probably a lot of reasons why I would say he probably chose her over me. Mind you, I assumed that he was single. I when I met him, he was single. Later on, he started dating her. I think like a couple, maybe like eight months or so later. I don't know the year. I found out about their relationship when I visited somewhere that he was, and. I realized that he was dating her. Now he was telling me that I'm the reason why he was with her because I wasn't pursuing him, right? But I'm a woman. I'm always gonna try to be in my feminine. I'm expecting you to be the man to pursue. Now, when from what I realized, he had the car, you know, well, it was a BMW. It was one of those little swooped up BMWs with the, you know, the drop backs and all that kind of stuff. So it kind of looks like he had money and I think he did have a little money. Um, but he was used to women running after him, and I was not one of those ones. So, you know, he got her to pursue him because I can see that in some of the pictures. One, like one picture I saw, that she was the one who was like gravitating towards him, and I wasn't doing that because I'm gonna remain where I am. If you want me, you want me. You don't want me. That's yeah, what yeah, I'm yeah, yeah, yeah. You're waffling. Let's go. Um, let's go. Sorry. So basically, from what I noticed. Had a nice car, the house, and then he wanted the girl. So she was pretty, long hair, dark hair, you know that kind of stuff. So going around with her, it was more of the envy. So she was, she was. Hold on, we got, we got to make this clear because, like, like, okay, yeah. you're a black chick. You're talking about a black yes. guy who's got money, who, who it, it looks like he's doing well, and then uh -huh. he's talking to, uh, I'm guessing, a non-black chick. Yes. Right, like well, dark hair, her. dark eyes, kind of yeah. Kardashian type looking girl, that type. Exactly. Yeah. All right, carry on. And so, from what I noticed, is having the car, the girl, the house, and it's what your friends think about you more. So when you go out, people look at you and they envy you. It's like, oh, I got a nice girl. She's pretty. The house and the car, and I think it was more of an ego boost kind of situation. So he enjoyed people envying him for what he had that's that's from what i saw but the thing is he that's asked, your opinion my opinion my opinion he got caught first of all because none of us knew that we existed and mm -hmm. when i found out you know i checked out straight away but he actually wanted to be with me mm -hmm. so while he was dating her he was still sneakily like begging can you take me like can you you know fix this can we can we try like you know, he wants to be um, with. He wants to be with you. I get it. So what's what? What is the point? Like, what is your point? So like? The point I'm making is, I feel like sometimes black men, I wouldn't say simp. I think they more want the accolades. So if they are successful, they have the car, the house, and then they want the woman that most men don't get. So, I think all men want that though. All men want a woman that yeah, well, other men can't get. Not every guy can get. 
get that when you don't have the money. So I think yeah, like, yeah, like, yeah. But he, he did have the money, so he could do that. Yeah, he could do it absolutely, and that's why I'm saying, you know, it's I wouldn't say it's a simping. It's more like it's not that black women are significantly unattractive because I'm not unattractive. I wouldn't say, but I feel like it's having all of those things stacked up, and then the envy of other people boosts your own ego. I don't so, think I think you you got it a bit wrong. I think what it is. Is that uh-huh. the guy was in a position where he can get what he wants. Mm-hmm. He can get all the different types. Listen, there's not... Most guys don't just have one type of woman they like. Even if they say they do. they Blood. I can say my preference is... I could tell you... Okay, my preference is black girls and mixed race girls, yeah? Mixed. Right? But... There are white women that I find very, very attractive and I would like to sleep with them. If they gave me the opportunity, I'm going to sleep with them, bruv. Do you get what I'm saying? So, and if I'm in a position where, okay, I might want to date a black girl and and be long-term with her, but I can still date other girls from other ethnic groups, that's what I'm going to do. No, I (laughs) agree. That, that don't mean that, um, that's got nothing to do with, oh, I want to be the envy of everyone else. That means I just want to enjoy my life and have what I want. Well, yeah, that's very true, but it still comes in with uh, envy and ego, because otherwise, you know, if you're looking at the mass media of, of men down here, who's the one supporting them, the ones who don't have the money? You know, we're the ones who are publicizing this relationship, and we're the ones who don't even benefit from the financial bracket that they're in. So at the end of the day, I feel like it's, if you notice, it's all the men at the bottom of the scale who don't have finances are the ones who are pushing the issue, not the ones who actually have the money. They don't care. It's the ones who don't because I feel like maybe they, in their minds, they want to attain the very same thing. And because they can at the time, you know, these men with the money and the women, you know, it's more of an accolade. So you're kind of using it as an ego boost. You know, oh, look at all this that I have, which is great because you work for those things if you have Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. What you're saying is a bit confusing. So who's using it as an ego boost? The people, the guys at the top who can do it or the guys, because you just said the guys at the bottom are the ones supporting it. So if they're supporting it, who who are they getting the ego boost over? The people like the ones who are on the social media. Oh, go to the white girl. Go to this. Go to that. You know, I feel like they're the ones because they don't have access to these. Companies. When Michael B. Jordan, when Michael B. Jordan had a bag of white girls and and um mixed race girls on a boat, I don't think he was worrying about who's on social media who can see him, Rav. He was just enjoying himself. He was, but he did come back on, and he was like, "Oh, they're not my women. They're they're." It's the because he got backlash. If he never got back, if he never got backlash, if nobody said anything, he would have just carried on with his life, bruv. Yeah, but he was dating a lot of white models anyway, so to him it didn't even matter. That's what I'm saying, but no, that's what I'm saying. But you're saying that it's an ego boost. It's not an ego boost. He's he's just doing what he's doing. You know, that's very true, and I feel like sometimes you know maybe they don't have the obviously. I don't think they have the access to some of these women because these women aren't checking for them. They're looking for. The, if you're in the circle of the money, the money is usually white. So mm. if you're in the circle of the white money, let's say, for example, you know, if a black guy gets up there, he's very lucky. You know, you're very lucky to get in, you know, in this level. Because if, if we really break down 1%, how many men of this 1% is black? Yeah, it's not going to be It's not going to be a lot. Yeah, exactly. it's not going to be a lot. Yeah. It's very small. So when you have all of this 1% man that's predominantly white and then you get a black guy who is now joining the circle, maybe, who, who knows, maybe he might feel pressure to have a white girl because, uh, you know, who knows, you know, you feel like you kind of feel out of it if you don't have something on your arm. I, do you know what? With what you just said, I do agree to a certain degree. I think that, I think that in certain industries, it will... It, it, some black guys who use will get to the certain tops of their industries. They may feel like, yeah, let me get a white girl because all the other guys in my circle now have white girls, and it will just kind of, um, it will kind of assimilate me into it easier mm. than yeah. if I'm with a black black woman, like, and who is who is um, 
un unapologetically black, like it's not as it's not as smooth it's not as, as smooth a transition as if if you was a black guy with a Becky. You know what I'm saying? Because everyone, you know, the Becky's got her own image and stereotypes. So it's like, oh, he's a, he's all right. He's got a nice wife, like blah, blah, blah. Whereas like you as a black guy, you've got your own stereotypes and then your woman's got her own stereotypes and together you are a stereotype. So it's just like, uh, like yeah. it, it may be that's... more of a struggle to get accepted in that, that circle. Do you get what I'm saying? But at the same time, some people could say, yeah, but what about Obama and um, Michelle Obama? Because Obama was the president of the United States. That's as high as it gets, bruv. Yeah. <laughs> and he had a black woman, bruv. Yeah, exactly. And to be honest, okay, I'm not going to say he did it on his own, but, you know, with her help. But Obama, I mean, Michelle could hold her own, though, because she could. You know, she can hold her own. She was doing her own thing. If you look at all the presidential wives, except Bill Clinton's wife, you know, Hillary, she was doing a little some some. She was on something, though. But majority of the women they have were models. They couldn't rise to the occasion, you know. So they didn't have, yeah, but they didn't have to. They're white women. They didn't have to, bruv. And that, that's the point I'm making. So <laughs> if you're like a black woman married to a black guy in a group of predominantly white men who choose white women, mm. you will probably feel a bit ostracized. Like, how do you interact with these people? It might be a little bit weird. Yeah, it's so, it, yeah, because you're 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 probably dealing with you're probably dealing with white white people that that don't come from mixed multicultural environments. They're coming from yeah. white on white environments. Like, do you get what I'm saying? Like, the only time they come in contact with with, with black people is a music <laughs> video, MTV or something, bro. Do you get yeah. what I'm saying? So, yeah, because they've probably seen a lot of money, you know, compared to you're just coming in as a black person. Yeah. Even as a black man, you've not even seen the kind of money that's been flowing around in these groups for so long. So I think sometimes maybe it gets to your head, but I feel like, you know, black men probably feel have, have to... Someone in the chat them. said you sound jealous of white women. No, of course not. <laughs> to be honest, I don't know why you wrote that because I don't see why, why you would think she sounds jealous of white women. She doesn't sound I jealous of white women at all. And this is what I'm talking about. Some of you guys, I'm sorry, bro. But some of you guys, the comments you make just lets me know that you got you got a problem with black women, bruv. And me personally, I don't, bruv. I never have. In the hold on, let me let me finish. All right. At the end of the day, yeah, this is the thing I'm trying to say. Look, people are saying she doesn't sound jealous. She doesn't. She hasn't said anything disparaging, bro. Like, like, and it just lets me know that there's this weird thing going on now where it's like. Like there's a lot of brothers, and obviously there's there's black chicks doing it as well. We all know the channels that do this, that hating on black guys. Yeah, we all know those channels. Yeah, but I'm saying that like if we are guys who think logically, yeah, if we are guys that think with our brain, you know, a lot of us claim that we're all alpha males, which I know that's not true. Most most everyone it can't be an alpha male, bruv. Yeah, they're not, bruv. Yeah, and most of everyone is not intelligent and smart. You're not, bruv. Yeah. But if we do claim that we're all like that, right, then we have to apply it in our thinking and what we say. So if a black woman is talking and she's not saying anything necessarily negative in any way, and then you just say, ah, she just sounds jealous of white women. Bruv, I'm sorry, that's not good enough, bruv. And I will call it out, bruv. Just the same way as if, if Sophia said some things about black guys which were not fair, I'm going to call her out. And you lot know I'm going to do that because I've done videos, countless videos doing that, calling out women talking crap about us guys. I have grown up with white friends. We didn't have a problem with them dating black guys because they're around us. We knew them. You know, mm. we hang out at lunchtime, sit in the same group. So it was never really an issue whether or not they dated. And plus, we were in a predominantly black school, but there were white guys. You know, so it's not like I'm going to be jealous of someone. If you get that, that's great. That's not a problem. As I said, mm. I don't have an issue if a black guy wants to date out because I'm not the one that's living with you. You live with that person. So you got to be able to deal with all that comes with that relationship, good or bad. But if you actually look at it, a lot of these black men, white women relationships, they don't actually last. Mm. A lot of them dissolve into divorces later on. I mean, there's not many that we've seen now that's, stand the test of time mm. a lot of them are dissolving so maybe there's an underlying issue that is causing the problem that might be the result i think is this i think is this honestly and this is what i've learned from my own personal um 
uh, interracial dating experiences, whether you like it or not, there is a cultural disconnect, bruv. Whether you like it or not, bruv. That's why, personally, I could only see myself... And I'll just be honest, yeah. I could only really see myself with a girl who is at least she would have to at least half be an ethnic minority. Because if you're not an ethnic if you're not an ethnic minority, yeah, you don't fully understand where you could you just can't understand where I'm coming from. You just can't. Like there's just certain underlying things that you would never experience, like, and you probably never will. <laughs> do you get what I'm saying like I would have to explain it to you and even explain it to you you don't understand because at the end of the day being a black person or being an Indian in a in a in a in a non-black in a white predominant country you wake up that you go to sleep that you what you you go through the day being that you can't get away from it bruv do you get what I'm saying that the factor of okay when you apply for a job oh are they not going to give me the job just because I'm black do I have to change the, my vernacular, the way I speak, my vocabulary, just to make everybody feel, feel, um, you know, feel okay around, man? I mean, do I have to carry, do I have to carry myself a certain way so people don't feel intimidated? Because this is one of the reasons why I, I'm so happy I don't have to go to a normal job. Because when I did have a normal job, I felt that I had to carry myself in a way that would make other people feel comfortable instead of me just being comfortable myself. You gotta understand, it's like, okay, like, boom, like, some of you guys out there, and some of you guys can out there can agree to this. Some of you have got white girlfriends, yeah? And, she, you know, she she comes from a white family, white parents, white grandparents, white brother, sister, they got white boyfriends, girlfriends, whatever. You go over to the house, are you meaning to tell me you, you feel 100% just normal? Come on, bruv. You probably fix your character a little bit. And this is probably the same for women, black women that date white dudes as well. You go yeah. to, to meet their family, are you going to be exactly 100% natural or are you going to probably tailor yourself to make sure that, okay, these lot don't look at me as a stereotype. These lot don't feel intimidated by me. They don't think some weird... Like, I'm not giving them any fuel to think anything weird about me. Like, come on, bro. Like, come on. I've been in that situation a few times, bro. Like, do you get what I'm saying? Carry on. Go on. Yeah, I, I understand completely what you're saying. I mean, I've attracted, uh, you know, I've attracted a couple of different guys from different races, but I've never said, oh, well, this is the reason why I'm not dating a black guy. Do you know what I'm saying? I've never turned around and say, okay, well, I'm not dating a black guy because he's too broke or he's not tall enough or he's not handsome, doesn't have muscles or... You know, he don't look like Michael King, King yeah, Riches. Exactly. You know, Come on. Let's be honest, right? Uh, <laughs> you know, a lot of people say black women are jealous of white women, but let's be honest. If a lot of white men are economically more, well, if, if economically they have a greater standard in society than we than normal black guys do, let's just generalize for a second, right? Socioeconomically, if have, yeah. Socio if they have a better social standing in terms of money, Mm -hmm. and a black woman or any other race decides to date a white guy, wouldn't that then make the black woman have a better chance economically as well? Because yeah, but the, 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 the problem, do that... you, see, you see, the problem with when, when black women talk about, oh, yeah, but us dating white dudes, bro, the, the reality is this, the, the reality is most white dudes are not checking for black women like that. That's the reality, bruv. Except if you've got a good body. Even if you got a good, I'm sorry, bro. Even if you got a good body, the majority of white dudes are not going that way. They'll go for mixed race girls, oh, yeah, and ambiguous true. looking girls. And 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 I'm not saying this to down like talk down on black chicks, but this is the reality, bro. If if, no, if, if you compare if you compare black men black men be able, being able to date out compared to black women being able to date out, bro, it, it's not even a contest. Black men are gonna win that hands down. <laughs> like, that ain't what the, I'm because not saying that black gone. women don't you know get I'm just saying that I feel like sometimes you know black guys will say some of them not all of them you hear a lot of the rhetoric saying that you know uh, black black women are upset that black guys want to date white women for whatever reason but not everybody feels that way I personally as I said I, do, I don't care if you want to date a white girl you got to live in the house not me mm. you know but the thing is if the money as I said if the money was black because normally the money is never black. 
you got to be lucky to get the money to be black. So if the money is black, like you're just the first black guy to become rich in your environment or family. Mm -hmm. If you marry a white person, then, and your child becomes mixed race, it's more likely they'll marry their someone like their mother. Mm -hmm. So then all the time, the money becomes white. It's yeah. not black anymore. It's you know like, I mean? it's like, it's like all these, um, it's like all these pro athletes, these black male pro yeah. athletes that, you know, you know they came from the hood or they just came from black areas. They probably, all the girls they messed with were black. Yeah. And again, I'm not telling brothers what to do. I'm not telling them to date, not date into Asia. I'm just saying the facts, like from what I've seen. Yeah. A lot of these black dudes. And then as soon, now they got money. Now they're around all their teammates who probably most of them are white. Yeah. Now they got money. Now they're going to certain different types of clubs now. Now they're in different circles and mingling with different types. And now, you know, a lot of the girls that are going to be there are probably going to be the type of girls you've never been had access to before. Mm -hmm. And now you're yeah. going to, yeah, you want to try that. And yeah, they're going to be acting very nice to you and very welcoming and very uh, uh, seductive because you're a mm -hmm. guy that is, you know, you're, you're, you're a guy with superpowers now. Yeah. You're in the club. So mm -hmm. this is what I'm saying. A lot of these, a lot of them, them black dudes that go and do that, I, I think they're not really thinking straight. Do you get what I'm saying? Would this girl have checked for you before? Was you getting girls like this before? This is the question you have. Every guy has to think like because if you wasn't, then you know that these this type of girl probably doesn't really like you like that. She likes what you offer. Do you get what I'm saying? I mean, all girls like what you offer, but. Is there's levels to this, like do you get what I'm saying? There's levels to this, and you, as a black guy, you, as a black person, whether you're a black man or black woman, you need to be aware of your surroundings, the people you're dealing with, and what they're trying to get from you. <laughs> do you get what I'm saying? Like it's real like that. But go on. Yeah, yeah, but uh, you know, as I said, I wouldn't say black men simp for white women. I just feel like sometimes maybe when they don't have access, you might have to put an extra effort in, you know, to get that person because. You might have the money, but you might have to show the money. You might have to be over exaggerated, you know, with a spending. And I think all women are like that in general anyway. You know, if you got the money, they want you to spend it on them regardless. Mm. But I just feel like depending on the person, if they grew up in money, then you might have to match that. You mm. know, I mean, let's let's look at LeBron James' son. If, if he's, uh, he's dating this white girl, whatever school he's going to is probably a private school. Mm. So we... Most black people can't afford it. Yeah. So there's not much options in terms of black people or women that he could possibly date because whatever whatever race has the money, that's what's going to be there. So if you're lucky or have the luxury to send your child to a private school, which most of us won't have, um, you know, unless you get you attain that all through life, he, he's going to have access to these kind of women because they're in his vicinity. So I wouldn't say that everybody's mad that he's dating a, a white girl you know they probably would prefer it's a black woman because then you know the whole black unit family and all that kind of stuff but wherever you're happy i think you should go there and be happy there because as i said you have to be there for the rest of your life 24 7 365 days a year if you're lucky to die together that's great not everybody has that opportunity where you know, they can live a long life. Some of them end up in divorce for various reasons. And we know the court system isn't good for men anyway. So we definitely know that it's going to be biased completely. Well, not completely, but it's going to be a lot more biased if the person, if the woman is a lot more white. Look at look at what's going on with Amber Heard and, and Johnny Depp. I mean, right now, it would have been an outcry. All of these, you know... I'm going to have to life. cut you off because I've got other people waiting, but like... But yeah, um, yeah, man, like, at the end of the day, do whatever you want to do. Everyone do whatever that you want to do. I'm not saying any particular group's bad. I'm not saying white women are bad or anything like that. I'm just saying that a lot. there's some black guys out there that are simping for Becky's, bruv. That's what I've noticed. I did a video, and the reason, why, the real thing, the, the real reason why I'm doing this video, which spawned, well, the, the thing that spawned it was, I always, whenever I do videos where, pertaining to race and dating, yeah, um, I will always get this 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 core group of black guys on my channel who will always they always say disparaging things about black women, and then it's always kind of like pedestalizing white women, and it's like 
I just find it to be very weird and suspicious. Do you get what I'm saying? Because in my opinion, it sounds like you really haven't dated that many white girls in your life. You you would like to. The idea sounds good. Or maybe you 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 managed to fall into bed with one of them, like, so now you think, oh my god, she's so good. Like, bro, like you bro, it ain't like that, bro. Like, like there's there's headaches with any woman you're gonna deal with, there's gonna be headaches, bro. That's just life. So Bruh, I don't know, bruh. One quick thing before I go. Go on. Uh, you know, to, I've seen some comments saying that I'm jealous of white women or I hate black guys. But I just want to say to the black men, you know, I'm, I predominantly date black men. I love, I love black men. But um, I would just say, just keep your head up. There are a lot of nice black girls out here, you know. And unfortunately, a lot of the negative ones, maybe the ones who are over, over publicized and the good ones. But you just got to look because they're there. You know, sometimes maybe you have to give up one thing to get I, something else. I would agree with you. I think... I think the 304s get a lot of the shine and a lot of the um, highlighting. And that's one of the biggest problems that um, cause friction between black men and black women. Because it, it, for some reason, it's always the 304s, the Cardi Bs, the Megan Thee Stallion, the City Girls. It's always these stupid random chicks on, on Instagram that put out these crazy videos. They're the ones that seem to get a lot of attention and they get pushed hard so then yeah. so then in it, it kind of looks like okay yeah but that's that's that that's the general consensus of a lot of black women they they go along with it because unfortunately when those kind of videos get pushed a lot of people support those videos and guess who they are women bruv so like and you don't really hear you let's keep it real you don't really hear black women talking out against the ratchets you don't you don't you, is, you don't like you don't you hear is, think about it for black men you hear black men chastising black men you you got you got black women that chastise black men and black men that support those women that chastise black men but you don't really have black women critiquing ratchet 304s you don't Not, not trying, listen, listen, let, let me just say this. Not trying to do the videos that black guys already do because I don't really like, I, I, I'm i not really a fan of these, these chicks on YouTube who try to do the same kind of videos that I do or like other red pill. You, you know these female red pill channels? I don't really like them because I think they're just copying the black, the guys because they see a market and they know that they can get money because they got boobs. Yeah. But I'm saying those what don't I'm saying you don't really see females who really go deep and critique and 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 aim it at women to make women understand that this is wrong. Do you get what I'm saying? Like that that doesn't really exist, and that's why that's why so many black guys think oh all black women are like this and all black women are like that because nobody's saying that that's that's BS. No one says that except men. In the black community, it seems that there's a lot of instability when it comes to relationships. It's like re stable relationships are not attractive. It's like everybody wants drama from one area or another. Like there's never any stability in the black community when it comes to relationships because we're always getting the negative, negative, negative. It, I, I think I heard something about, you know, why be with your own culture if you have to suffer? Just go and date someone else. But mm. not a lot of relationships in our culture is suffering. I mean, that's the connotation of it. But there are a lot of successful relationships that aren't just based on suffering. Yeah, I, I, mean, I like, saw one of I saw one of my friends. I saw one of my friends on Friday. Like he's married. He's a black guy, and he's married to a black chick, and they're happy, bruv. They're inseparable. Right. They're always together, bruv. Like. I think a lot of this thing is like blown out of proportion, especially on YouTube. And that's why that's why I had to make this video that a lot of black guys are simping for white women because bro, in the real world, most black people are together. Exactly. And there's no relationships that are 100% perfect. So for, for all you black guys that keep going on and on about, oh, get you a Becky, it's, it's, it's actually ridiculous and stupid, bro. You're gonna have problems with her as well. Yeah, I mean, like, we just have more interaction with actual good relationships that are, you know, actually successful.
because we don't actually have any of those in the black community. Can can anyone name a good relationship that they've seen? I mean, you're not going to know people's personal lives per se, but I've named a couple black on black relationships that actually made some few years into the marriage, but you don't actually see anything like that because apparently. Oh yeah, yeah. I I I've got to cut you off because I got to let other people have a chance. Someone said this is a very long okay. call, and this has been a very long I'm call. Sorry. I'm but I appreciate right. you calling in, though. Thank you, though. Hey, right, call back in another time. I'm going to do more shows. Call back in another time, yeah? Take care. Bye. All right, bye, bye, bye. Appreciate it. All right, cool. Hey, um, let me shout out the super chatters, man. Hey, you lot, make sure you're hitting the super chat, you know? Make sure you're supporting. This is a very controversial topic, bro. Like, this is a very, very controversial topic, yeah? So make sure you're supporting the team, bro. Like, get me? No one's hit the cash app yet. What are you lot doing, bro? And if you have a difference of opinion, whether you're a black guy, white guy, black woman, white woman, call in the show and stop being scared, bro. Stop. Do not tag me in your comment, bro, because I'll get you blocked. You, I'm giving you the link to call in the show. It's in the description box below and it is in the chat. All right. All right, cool. All right, next. Um, tech window. Yo, can you hear me? Yeah, go on. How you doing, bro? You good? Yeah, I'm good. How are you? Yeah, not bad, not bad, man. Yeah. Um, yeah, just on this topic, man, I was going to try and connect something else. I, I'll say one thing is that you can't really talk about interracial dating without talking about, um, like, colonialism, superior complex, whatever, because around the world, it's the, it's the same thing. When people think about interracial dating, most people put white people at the top. Um... It's not like with everybody, it's a different, you know, race or something. Most of the time, people put white people at the top and they put black people at the bottom. So, I mean, and that affects everybody differently. Um, mm. One thing I would say is that black men and black women, well, black men, I know, as, as males, they're not really respected in society as the way white guys are. Mm. So, like, in a, just a normal setting, for example... Um, at work, um, going to an institution like, you know, being in a bank or whatever. And just even on, in my, like, day-to-day -day interactions with white women, right, it's like they have this thing where they have this slight superiority complex where they might try to talk to you in a, in a way where they, you know, like, they, even if they're younger than you, bruv, they try to talk to you like they know something, yeah, um, more than you. <laughs> Mm. Which I'm not, you know, like, the thing is, when I talk to a, a um, black woman, normally, you know, you could just talk to them normally, do you know what I mean? Yeah. But the thing is, everybody, every set of women, everyone has their own set of issues. Um, the thing I would say with, like, dating interracially, with white women especially, is that I'm, I prefer to be familiar with maybe some of the issues that black women have. Yeah. Whereas with white men... I might not know where they're coming from with certain things, bruv. Mm. Um, and when you think about, like, um, the lady t touched on um, the whole thing with Amber Heard, bruv. A black man in that situation, bruv? Oh, he's done. Bruv, he he's he done. Himself. Yeah, if, 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 if Johnny Depp was a black guy, he'd, tch, he'd be done, bro. That they would He would have been done by now. The trial would have been over by now, bruv. bruv Johnny Depp is like an A-list Hollywood star whatever right mm. so even just that because just a regular white guy do you know what i mean there'll be questions on him whatever else but but there's been so many stories that i've seen in the media especially i've known that happened over in the states where you know someone's accused them of force you know a, like this that that but yeah yeah, yeah don't get too deep yeah yeah and then yeah and then my man's in jail for like how long bruv like 15 years or whatever else bruv and this has been going on for time mm. um me personally, I don't have any problem with people interestingly dating, but mm. I think a lot of black guys need to stop seeing their solutions to a lot of their problems in white women. Yes, um, that's my thing as well, yeah. The thing is, black people need to understand themselves as well. Like, there's a lot of things I've seen. I was watching a video recently about um, how black guys are ten times more likely to suffer, like, um, sort of, like, mental episodes. Like, um... Uh, this is yeah, some video I saw the other day. Um, and there's there's other things, there's other issues that you might have. It's a lot more easily relatable with a uh, with a black woman. But in my honest opinion, I I prefer to date a 
black women first, and then maybe ethnic minorities, and then then a white one. I just couldn't see myself growing older with a white one, bro. I just like you said, the cultural differences are like too much. In my honest opinion, a lot of white people will see like they even see like mixed race and black as the same thing, bro. That's mm. in my opinion, bro. And when I look at a lot of white white passing people, bro, they tend to be dating white people, bro. So there is a lot to unpack in terms of like how people think and how people perceive things um, when it comes to dating. It's not just uh, everybody knows what it is because you're dealing with a lot of different people. But we do need to consider things like beauty standards, um, the way the media perceive things uh, when we come to like dating. And um, yeah, it is a shame the way the way things are. But I think people need to be more conscious of their decisions and saying oh you know white women are you know they're so much better than black women and it's it's interesting when people when they talk about oh not dating a black man or black women then they always talk about white people as an alternative like it just it for me when you say that it just seems that you have an inferiority complex towards white people and yeah you're just playing into it i just think that it's just a bit mad, like, where people will just, like, try to, to look at things as, oh, yeah, if I get with a white woman, then that's the answer to all my problems. That's going to, you know what I mean? Like, oh, yeah, my relationship with her will be perfect. She's going to be submissive and she's going to do as I, as, she, as I tell her to do. And you're like, bro, like, you ain't really dated the white girls, bro. <laughs> you don't really know what you're talking about. And another thing of, like, you know, the whole cultural aspect of, like, they... How, how... Like, they can't really know where you're coming from, bro. Like, especially the fact that she's a woman and then she's a white woman in a white country. Like, how is she going to know where you're coming from? And I'm not saying this as a thing of black guys do not date them. I'm not saying it like that. I'm just saying... I'm just trying to make you lot realistic and logical, bro. Like, like the, the, the logic... The fact and logic is... That a black woman is going to be able to identify with you better if as a black man because you're both you're both in the same community, bruv. It's a simple thing. Like that and everybody knows that. It, but for some reason, it, you always hear I don't I don't really hear like other men of other communities going in on oh I gotta date a, a black woman or I gotta date this woman or that woman. Like that, bro, I find it to be kinda embarrassing to be honest. Do you get what I'm saying? If, if, and look, if it is your preference to go and date um, white women, then just do it. You don't need to go and start broadcasting it and try to convince other guys that, oh, yeah, this is the thing to do. Like, it's the, it's the thing to do for you, but you're just one person. You're an individual. You don't represent the majority. Yeah. Uh, uh, and the thing is, I think we, people need to look at people as like, yeah, we're all... None of us are, are perfect. Like, yeah. a lot of black women are going to have their issues, right? And there are a lot of black people that are going to have, like, sort, sort of, like, self-hate, you know, whatever. And there's a lot of things I don't agree on. Like, I don't agree with, like, uh, black women where we in it. But that doesn't mean that doesn't mean I'm just going to dismiss, you know, a black woman just like that because she, she has that. End of the day, in my honest opinion, with a black man, it's his... Um, duty to lead, in my opinion. But at the same time, if you're not given the opportunity to lead, then obviously that creates a problem. But the, the solution is not dating white women, bro. Because I mean, I've got in, I've personally, um, I've almost got into trouble dating white women myself. Like, um, they've almost got me into trouble. I've got myself beaten up for like no, just you know, inane reasons. Like, I, you know, that, that problems that have nothing to do with me. So. And just because they come up front, because I think a lot of black women are a lot more, I would say, a lot more forward, a lot more... Loud with it. They'll be a lot more open. Yeah, a, a lot more loud, but maybe a, a lot more open with their words and what they'll say. Where we'll, with um, white women are a lot more reserved, but you kind of learn things on the back end. Is when you mm, get to know... Yeah. This is what I'm saying, and this is what, and this is why I'm saying that these black guys that are simping for these white chicks, 
They don't really understand the game. They don't understand the game that these white chicks play. They don't understand, bro. Yeah, they may not be rah, rah, rah in your face like you're used to with, with black chicks. But they do it in their own way, bruv. <laughs> They're getting at you in their own way, bruv. Like, do you get what I'm saying? But because they don't really have the experience with that, they just think... Yeah. They're just looking at, looking at it on face value that, oh, yeah, these guy, girls are quiet and they, they're they more like, you know, what you want them to be like. Bro, there's there's pros and cons with everything, yeah. with everybody, okay. bruv. Do you know what I'm saying? And, and in my my opinion is this. Whether the girl I'm dealing with is... Because from now, I've I've made the decision that I would, I would only deal with a girl that's black or mixed race, right? Bro, like... Yeah. At the end of the day, I will only prefer to be with a chick that is. I I will actually prefer a girl to be loud and 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 straightforward. I don't want no passive aggressive, like you ask her what's wrong and she's not saying nothing, but really she's she's got some next thing in her mind and then, like bro, I don't like that, bro. I don't like that. That's sneaky, bro. That's sneaky. I don't want that, bro. Like I'd rather be with someone that when they're upset, they well they're gonna let me know they're upset. <laughs> and they're gonna know and I'm gonna know exactly why they're upset. That's how I like I was talking to to, to, to a friend today and she's saying, Ra, you're rude, you're rude, because you say everything very straightforward. And I'm like, bro, but at least I'm honest, bro. At least you know what you're getting. Yeah. Do you get what I'm saying? Like, would you would you prefer somebody that's quiet, that's harboring all these emotions against you? Or would you prefer me to get it over and done with right now, right here, right now? What would you prefer? Yeah. Do you get what I'm saying? And and look, there's some and there's a lot of white girls that are like that as well. Yeah. Do you get what I'm saying? So like, bro, like these guys, I'll these guys for, talking for don't really young, know. Like, go on. I'd say for younger guys, you know, you're like 18, 19, 20, whatever. Do you know what I mean? But even those girls you're dealing with at that age, it's just it's a it's maybe a different scenario. You might you might find you know you can have some sort of issues with them, but they're mentally at a stage. A lot of them where they. They are themselves, um, and th- I don't think around that age just things are that serious anyway. But I'm, um, yeah, just in general, yeah, bro. Like just like, be, like be careful in it. Do you know what I mean? You don't want to have uh, a situation, Johnny Depp <laughs> situation as a black guy, bro. That's what I'm it's saying. Then you, then you have, then you have the chick. Then you have. Then listen to this guy. This guy's so dumb. So you want a masculine woman? This guy's an idiot, bro. And you know what? You're gone, bro. Because you're just an idiot. And I saw a comment you wrote earlier. You're just dumb. Like, bye. Anyway, so laugh out loud to that. <laughs> Stupid. Anyway, like, end of the day, like, bro, like, yeah, you don't want to be in no situation. Because at least, yeah, like, if you get in a situation with a black chick, like, I don't know. I think you got a better chance, bruv. Because <laughs> if, if, you, if you're in a situation with a white chick, people are going to be more inclined to believe her because she's a white chick. <laughs> that's that, bro. That's dangerous, bro. I'm sorry, bro. Like, like I'm I, to know what kind of black chick she is as well. Yeah, yeah. When, I'm, when you're dealing with her, you can tell. It's easy to tell what, what kind of person she is. They're, they're a lot more honest. Like, it's a lot more easy to see. Whereas the white girl, I, I don't know, bro. <laughs> see what I mean? But yeah, it's what it is, man. Uh, but thanks for having me, man. I'll let someone else jump on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, definitely, definitely. Hey, listen, I want some women to call in. I, mean, I know there's bare women listening, bro. I know there is, bro. I want you lot to call in, so stop being scared and call in and let me know what you think. All right, big up tech window, man. Call back in another time, bro. Uh, take it easy, bro. All right, safe, fam. Big up tech. All right, cool. Um, Let me shout out the super chatters quickly, man. You lot keep supporting the channel. Hit the super chat and all of that good stuff, man. Get me the most underrated, best YouTuber on YouTube, yeah? Obviously, um, big up to big up to Damiola for the super chat. He says, Getting a white girl is a trophy to these dons, absolutely, bro. Absolutely, bro. Like, these lot, <laughs> these lot be going in, bro. And I'll be like, Yes, look at the back, look at the back on her, man. I'll be like, Bro, like, she does not have no back, bro. Like, she's standard, standard Becky, <laughs> standard Becky buns. <laughs> Big up Ice Wife for the super chat. He says, True, my tool gets hard for white women than black women when I watch it. But good for you. Big up Ice Wife. I don't know why you wrote that, but uh, cool. Big up Ernest for the super chat. 
appreciate that. Yeah, big up Ernest. Big up Tech Window. He was just on. He says, makeup, society and media caters to white women hype. It does. It does. It does. It does. Absolutely, bro. Like, and again, look, at the end of the day, I'm not saying that white women are not attractive. I'm not saying that they're bad options. I'm just saying that I think that a lot of black guys who are frustrated with black women start to act like white women are the holy grail when at the end of the day they are women yeah and they are human beings and all women have problems they will bring some kind of headache in one way or another so stop thinking that oh it, um it's, I'm, I'm saving my life by going and dating out bro there, there's other issues with dating out as well and this is coming from a guy that's dated out very successfully as well so pff, bruh <laughs> know what you're saying out there bruh uh big up to uh malcolm for the super chat i appreciate that salute yeah big up mj for the super chat he says i are an microconism of cu curiosity and fantasy which is why a lot of black men simp for non-black women i think a lot i think the thing with this this whole ir thing and why a lot of black guys are so mesmerized by it is because a lot of black guys have not had access to non-black women that's what it is They've watched a lot of adult material, yeah? They've watched their favourite rapper being in music videos with ambiguous white, um, women and white women and stuff like that. And they're thinking, oh, I, I, you know, I would love to try that. I would love to try that flavour. It's like, bro, it's just like, bro, like, you imagine you've eaten the same candy, the same sweets, the same flavour your whole life, bro. And then you get access to eat a new flavour. You're going to be like gassed. You're going to be gassed to taste that new flavour, bro. Do you get what I'm saying? You're going to be like, oh, I don't even want the old ones no more. I want the new one. Do you get what I'm saying? Like, that's literally what it is, in my opinion, anyway. But really and truly, yeah. Anyway, <laughs> I was going to say something mad. But anyway, big up T. Kalik for the super chat. He says, women are women. White women ain't a special breed. Where do you brothers think feminism came from? Ooh. Yes, my brother. That was an excellent point. Big up T, Khalid, yeah? Big up T, because I'm going to bring you on next as well, because that is so true, bruv. Where do you think feminism came from? And the feminism is the, the springboard for most of those problems that we have today in dating. If you didn't realise that. <laughs> Where do you, all these Cardi B's and City Girls and Get The Bag and um, an F, and F a guy get some money and all of this and OnlyFans and, and all escorts and all of these sugar babies and you can't tell them nothing. It doesn't matter what they do as long as they're getting the bag. Where do you think it all comes from? It comes from feminism. And who brought in feminism? It wasn't black women. <laughs> It wasn't black women, bruv. Press one in the chat if you understand what I just said. Because the you guys that are oh, Team Becky all day long, yeah? You need to understand it started from your Team Becky, bruv. <laughs> all these problems started from your Team Becky, bruv. You know what I'm saying? So... Yeah. And let me just say, whatever you put in the chat, be very careful because you will get it removed. Anyway, all right, T, what are you telling me? Hey, man, what's going on? Yeah, man, it does it does annoy me when I see black men sip for white women, bro, because, you know, I'm like, man, who, who got us saying cisgender? You know what I'm saying? Like, who is talking about toxic masculinity and all this nonsense and and patriarchy that's not black women yeah black women never started those conversations man even when you go to the me too movement all that stuff is led by white women and, and i'm not saying all white women obviously and no i'm not shaming any black man for talking to a white woman but i, I just want black men to just be careful because you know the whole believe all women thing that you know like i like i said this comes from white women and then, of course, sadly, you know, some black women repeat that, but this was not a creation of black women. And yeah. also, I wanted to get your opinion on this, too, man, because when I see some black guys sipping for white women, to me, I feel like they do it 
and they say it vocally out loud to shame black women because maybe they're having issues with getting black women. Yeah. What do you think about that? I think because you got to understand, like, obviously I've done a lot of videos uh, along with these topics, right? And I got a lot of comments and I always see the same old narrative of, oh, these black women, they dissed us back in the day. I liked black women, but they <laughs> dissed me and they don't like me and they don't like the way I talk. They say that I act too white or I talk too white. So obviously I went and dated outside my race and that's the best thing for me. And then that's the best thing for, for black men. Go and get your passports, SYSBM. <laughs> that's what they do. And I'm just like, bro, like... Really? Bro, like I, don't, I I'm just like bro, like I'm I'm listen bro like bro I've I've done a lot of IR bro. I've done a lot. Most of my girlfriends have been black, but I've done a lot of IR. <laughs> yeah? yeah. Especially in recent years, bro. And to be honest with you, there's headaches where in any relationship you're going to do with a woman, don't matter what color she is, you're going to get headaches, bro. So all this, oh, let me run and get a Becky. I'm going to run over to this side and over the fence and get a Becky and my life is going to be perfect. You're a fool. You're a fool, bruv. Because there's a new <laughs> set of there's a new set of challenges over there. They may be in challenges that you're not used to and you haven't seen before, but they're there and they're waiting for you, bruv. So all of this, bruv, these, these are guys that they haven't really, they haven't really done it properly, bruv. They don't really know what they're talking about. Or, or they've been messing with um, um, Becky's that are very low, low <laughs> budget, low. So obviously them, them Becky's, they're just happy to get a guy. They're just happy exactly. to get a guy. So of course they're going to be submissive and do as they're told. And, you know, they're going to give you sloppy whenever you need it and all of that. Because, they, they, bruv, they're just happy to get a body, bruv. <laughs> yeah, and black men are going for them and you know the thing is you don't even see white women talking like this and i'm gonna be honest with you bro and this may be at at the you know, evidence i forget how you say that word but anytime i see a white girl say that she exclusively dates black men and i'm telling you man this is just from what i can see <laughs> they're usually fat or very hood looking you know it, it's never the type of that white white you know becky type girl that you would think it's, she's it's, not the ones that always the wretched she, she's not the right? one that brad and chad are after bro exactly Put it like that exactly. and my thing is this and i know this is very petty bruv but my thing is this <laughs> if i deal with a white chick she's gonna be the type that brad and chad want exactly they're gonna look at me and think what <laughs> no nah. Like, how did he, how did he do, like, I want her, bro, like, they're going to be scheming on how they can get her, bruv. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, bro, like, bro, bro, I've had, I've had times, yeah, listen, I'll, I'll put this out there. There was one time, yeah, I was talking to this, um, uh, this, uh, brunette from my gym, yeah, and boom, very good looking, obviously, nice body, big boobs, big bum, like, in shape, nice face, cute, yeah, boom, like, obviously, I was chatting to her. And obviously I'm bait. I'm a bait black guy. Like you can't miss me, bro. Like I got tattoos. Yeah. Like like come on, like got gold teeth. Yeah, you can't miss me, bro. <laughs> like I'm talking to this girl. The girl is obviously on me, bro. Do you know somebody anonymously from my gym went and 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 messaged her on D in in DMs to telling her not to not to date me, bro. Why why she why yeah. does she want to date a black guy like that? They are oh, he's not a good guy. He sleeps with loads of girls from the gym. Um, this that the other. Yeah, I want that kind of response. That actually made me feel good. I was like, yeah, because she's if she was a duck, if she was a rhino or a hippo, <laughs> no no one would bother to make a fake IG account to go and talk rubbish about me, bruv. No one would. In fact, they would be like, yeah, carry on, bro. Take her off our hands. <laughs> yeah, we don't, take yeah, no, take, no, that's no, it. No, yeah, no, thanks, man. You, you're cleaning up the mess. <laughs> Thank you. And the thing is, a lot of these black guys, yeah, like, I just find it very embarrassing when you see these black guys like these black guys are in shape. Maybe they might even be like a little bit successful, bruv. And then like they're with these subpar chicks that I'm just like, bro, like, bro, like you might as well get an average girl from your own community, bruv. Like you probably will do better there. And again, I'm not telling guys that you shouldn't do IR. I'm not. Listen, yeah. everybody get it through to your head because I know some dummy is going to write that in the comments underneath this video. He, Michael King, King Richards doesn't want us to do IR dating. 
I'm not saying that, bruv. I'm just stating the facts, bro, like, that unfortunately, when you go outside, you will see black guys that are scraping the bottom of the barrel of other communities. That's true. And everybody That's knows true, that. Bro. Yeah, man, and, you know, I think of Nick Cannon. I don't, I, don't, I don't know if you've seen Nick Cannon's interview with that Nation of Islam guy, mm -hmm. uh, but Nick Cannon said it. He, he said the reason why black guys go for white girls, and this is according to his interpretation, is, is it be, it's, it's because it's the woman that they said that they couldn't have. Yeah. So I'm thinking, like, when you see a black man with a visually unattractive white woman, it's like, how are you with her? But to me, I feel like he probably sees it as a trophy because maybe it's a chick that he was told is taboo and it's almost like bragging rights. Look at me, I got a white girl. Mm. But it's like, man, she's not... I'm sorry, bro, but she's not good looking. I mean, it, it, and to me, bro, like I said, man, I wish brothers would stop doing this, man, because it does make us look weak. It does make yes. us look like we can't even handle our own women. I'm not yes. saying that they're exclusively black women, but I'm just saying... Saying it in public, I feel like that is designed to shame black women to uh, thinking some type of way and behaving some type of way. Because because you don't have to say it. If you're gonna date a white chick, just do it. Yeah, so just do it. Say, yeah. I'm not a white woman because she's all feminine and this. How do you know that? You ain't even dating one. <laughs> that's what that? I'm. That's what I'm saying. Who said that are single, bro? They don't even got no women. So like, how do you know that? That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying, bro. Like, think about this. That, like, oh, yeah, white women are so great, so great. Well, in a in a predominantly white country, most who 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 are the women that are gonna be mostly doing adult content on the internet? The most, yeah, the most exactly. are gonna be. It's probably not going to be black women, bruv. <laughs> <It's laughs> who? Well, what's the most sugar babies out there? The most the most chick type uh, demographic of women are gonna be sugar babies. It's probably not gonna be black women, bruv. No. Do you get what I'm saying? This is what I'm saying. Like, guys need to really start looking at this logically and stop being in this um, IR fantasy world, bruv. Like, it's it's a fantasy. It's not real, bruv. It's not real. But at the end of the day, yeah, bro, most people go with family, their own. Like, most well, most sorry, most people couple up with their own. Some people are going to do IR dating. Cool. Bless. Do whatever makes you happy, but don't idolize and don't try to come out being a loud mouth. Oh, you need to go and date outside the. I think that's weird. That's weird and it's embarrassing, bruv. Yeah, bro, and it, it, it does do long standing standing damage to black men because if I was to holler at a white girl, I don't want her to think I'm just. I see her as some just queen. No, I see her as every other chick. Yeah. You know, you were just fine when I approached you, but you know, you ain't nothing special. But you know, I, you know, just to put out this narrative that they're just this high class woman, which is interesting, bro, because you see the white women writing the articles about cis head whites, white men, you know what I'm saying, calling them supremacists, calling them all types of names. And I'm like, you know, these white women are really talking real foul about the white man, and y'all think that they gonna <laughs> sit there and support you, black man? Like, come on, man. But I yeah, bro, that's 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 pretty much what I wanted to say, bro. Like Black men just have to wake up. Women are women. It, it doesn't matter what color their skin color is. You know, they all got flaws. There is no perfect woman. If you are a man and, you know, listen to what you, you say, power, be on your game, mm -hmm. get your money right, mm -hmm. then they all going to fall in line, man. It don't matter what race they are, bro. Mm -hmm. And that's just straight up. Yeah, that's that's it. Like, literally... All I'm all I'm saying with this video is don't 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 like put anyone on the pedestal like that. It don't matter what color they are, bro. Because at the end of the day, everyone can mess anyone can mess you up. It don't matter what color they are, bro. So yeah. stop all of this idol worship. Like like I'm sorry, I just don't, I'm not with it, bro. At the end of the day, women are women, bro. <laughs> you know what I'm saying like that's how I, I see yeah, them, bro. bro. Do you get what I'm saying? So I appreciate the call, my bro. Alright man, stay up man. Alright man, appreciate that. Take care fam. Alright, big up. Um Big up to Michael Metrock for the super sticker. I appreciate that my bro. Big up big up big man like Michael Metrock, yeah. Big up MJ for another super chat. He says Mayno the rapper once said he wants a white woman to beat him like an old Virginia slave. He lit literally gets on turned on by that. No cap. That's a simp shake my head. Yeah, that kind of talk is ridiculous. That that's sad, bro. That's sad for a grown black man to say something like that. That's really ridiculous and sick. That's sick, in my opinion. Um, yeah, all right, cool. Let me 
move on. Um, Ayo. Yes, bro. Yeah, what's going on? Yeah, what's good, my guy? Um, yeah, can, can you hear me? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, what's good, bro, man? Yeah, this has been happening for quite a time, time, man. Now, um, black men have been capping about the whole, you know, portraying the uh, the grass is green on the other side sort of mentality. Mm. Um, you know, uh, if you don't like black women, or uh, if you don't, if you don't, um, uh, go go for a Becky, get a Becky. You know, oh, our blackies, our black girls are too rude. Um, remember that narrative they used to push back in the day. Mm. Our black women are too rude. Yeah. And what, what, what it did tell you is that, you know, a lot of these guys were, you know, t- taking insults from um, Becky's and, and, these, and these lower level white women, you know. Do you remember Love Island the other, uh, was it a couple of seasons ago, that Teddy guy, mm. you know, um, he got insulted and dissed by Faye, but he, 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 was, he was still begging her. Yeah. Um, uh, for, for the relationship. Mm-hmm. You know. And I, and I showed us on, on, on national TV the true narrative how black men, you know, just for the sake of having uh, a, 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 a white princess on their, or, a, a, on their, uh, their arm, you know, they'll take insult. And it's, I, I think what it comes down to is because it's, it's violent dignity, isn't it? Um, you know, so a lot of these guys, you know, they, they, they don't really get chicks or they haven't got, they, they didn't really get women in their own race. Mm. So when they see uh, you know a woman outside, uh, outside the race, who's doing it in the time of the day, they tend to they tend to over validate themselves with that. Mm. Oh wow, this white girl speaking to me, mm. you know. Especially the fact that it's London culture as well. I think they put we tend to what we tend to do here in, in London is we, we tend to put you know um, interracial dating on a pedestal. I was in the shortest the other day. You know, every black man I saw, for some reason, had a white tip. I was thinking, rah, I thought to myself, rah, did I not get the memo or something? <laughs> <laughs> no, I hear what you're saying. I hear what you're saying. Like, um, and it's true what you're saying. It's like, we, we all, it's only in the metropolitan cities like Birmingham, Manchester, London, uh, that, that they really we push this interracial to. Once you go into the sticks, yeah, no it's, a yeah it's a myth. It's a myth, bro. No it's, you it's see, a, it, 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 yeah, in the in 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 the in the, in the like in the, when you get outside of like like multicultural in cities, yeah, bro. Yeah, they're not on it, bro. They're not on it. Yeah. they're not on it, bro. I'm telling you, they'll look at you. They hold on, hold on, hold on. They'll pre you. They'll pre you. They're looking at you, but they're not on it, bro. They're not on it, bro. Like, I'm telling you. <laughs> that, so, you could go on and on about, oh, where I live, you know, I live in, in, in Seattle or in LA or wherever the, the F you live, yeah? I don't care, bro. That's not the whole world. Because a lot of you people that talk like that, that means you haven't left your corner. You don't know the rest of the world, bro. The rest of the world is not on it like that. The rest of the world, which is the majority, stick with their own, bro. And that's just the way it is. And I'm not telling you that you have to do that necessarily. Yeah. I'm just saying that's the reality, bro. That is the reality. Yes, as a black guy, you may be able to date outside your race. You may be able to get a bad B from outside your race. Everything is possible in this world. But the likelihood, the probability, unless you are someone who has some kind of fame, some kind of obvious money to you that they can see, or you're just devilishly good looking, Bruv, I'm I'm sorry. It's just the the probability is very low. It's very low. Yeah. You're gonna even have problems getting. You're gonna have problems getting a bad B in your own race, let alone another race. Bro, listen, bro. Let me put it like this, very plain and clear. If you are a black guy and you have problems getting black women in your own race, bro, what makes you f- like like hot ones, hot black women in your own race? What makes you think? In your little pea brain, your little dinosaur pea brain, what makes you think that you're going to be able to get a bad bee out of another race? And you can't even do it in your own, where the women know you, they know your your, your culture and your background. That, it doesn't, it don't compute, bro. This is why these guys talking rubbish. And really and truly, really and truly, if they are getting bad bees, they're probably paying for them. 
They're paying for them in one way or another, bro. <laughs> Keep it real, bro. Keep it real. So you can say all this, get your passport and all of this nonsense, bro. Which, listen, I'm not, I'm not against black, black guys traveling and, and and meeting women of different parts of the world. I'm not against that. But a lot of these guys really, they, what they want to go and do is go and pay for the box of different women, bro. That's where it is. And me personally, I've never paid for box in my life, and I never will because I don't have to, bro. And if 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 it, and if it ever got that deep, yeah, if it ever got that deep, I'll just get a plain Jane black chick, bro. Because I know I'll always be able to get a plain Jane black chick if the worst comes to the worst. So, that's that. <laughs> that's that, bro. I'm real, bro. But, but it's, it's, it's true what you say, though. Um, there, there's no point of taking into relation to leave. We're going to get a piglet. You know, a lot of this, a lot, have you seen some of the, 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 the chicks these guys are holding hands with? Or are walking? <laughs> It's like, like how? Uh, let me ask you this: How many? Everyone in the chat, everybody listening. There's there's nearly three hundred people listening. Yeah, everybody listening. Think about this: How many times in your whole life have you seen a Becky that was above an, an eight and above? No, I'm not talking about sevens, bro. I'm talking about an eight and above, and she was just with some average black guy, bro. Average height. Remember, average height is not six foot. Average height is like five foot eight. Five foot nine, yeah? Average height or, or let's say five ten. Let's just push it to five ten. Yeah? Five foot ten, average face. He wasn't devilishly good looking. He wasn't tall. And he wasn't he 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 wasn't driving a nice car. He was just like normal. When have you ever, ever, ever seen that, bro? I've never seen it in my life. <laughs> ever. Sure. In America or the UK. When you do see, when you do see Bro, even the black guys when they're dating average average Beckys, they usually have a nice car. Yeah. What are you talking about? <laughs> Carry on, bro. Carry on, bro. Yeah, but there's a, there's a narrative called the true, um, the true love narrative. And what, I, I think, because it's all raised up on what we really call Disney Channel. We tend to put, like you say, you know, the, the beauty and the beast. The big strong black guy gets the uh, the, uh, the, 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 the 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 blonde hair and blue eyes Becky, you know, like, and that's what was programmed. A lot of men program programmed in the Western world to, to to believe, you know. So rather than love their own race, they tend to want that true love narrative where you know they they, they, they put on a pedal stool into relationship into racial relationship because you know ooh, you must love each other, quote unquote. You guys are from a different race, so you guys must have dropped a lot of pedal stools. Uh, now you guys proper love each other, which is nonsense. Someone uh, said, sorry, someone said, I'm sorry, UK white women ain't on it like that, but American white women, that another case. Bro, let me just say one thing. Stop looking at what celebrities are doing, bruv. A lot of you guys out there, you're gassed up because Travis Scott was with Kylie Jenner, bruv. You got gassed up because Kanye West with Kim Kardashian, a, a woman that's a known 304 in the music industry. That is not a prize. <laughs> like, the, bruh. And that just goes to, uh, bruh, that, this is sad, bro. Like, that's just sad, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? Some of you are saying, oh, I've seen it a few times. Two out of ten times, you've seen a bad B a Becky with an average, super average black guy. Bro, uh, bro, nah, bro. Maybe your rating system for these chicks is different to mine, bro. You know what I'm saying? But I ain't seen it. I ain't never seen it, bro. It's usually the guy's got some kind of thing. Either the guy's really tall, the guy will be like six foot five, yeah. Or the guy's just like really good looking like black women and white women and all women find him attractive or something like that bro like come on bro like let's keep it real keep it real people <laughs> let's keep it real people you know what i'm saying uh big up m jar for another super chat he says most pro blacks date white women trust ah oh, that's jokes that's just and that's true man that's true as soon as they get a bit of money yeah then they're going with it all right Gemma. Gemma. Unmute yourself. Ah, uh, Gemma, man, you flopped, man. All right, cool. All right, um, 
Sharmakna. Yo. Gone once, twice, gone. Alright, cool. Uh, Derek Thomas. Hey, what's up, man? Can you hear me? Yeah, what's going on, my bro? <laughs> I appreciate that, bro. Yeah. Um, I wrote down a couple notes and I, that I want to go through. Uh, I want to start by saying most, like what you said before, most black men want black women, as well as vice versa. Most black women want black men. Mm. I know uh, a lot of times uh, we hear it a lot of times where people may spin the narrative like, well, you know, uh, black men don't. You know, they, they only want white women. They only want Latinas. Most of the time when when black men are looking for a woman to be with, it's it, they, they're always going to go with their first option, which is the black woman. Yeah. yeah. They're always going to go with the first option, which is the black woman. And as well as um, what plays into, what I believe what plays into a lot of times when, um, when a lot of black men time to time would um, decide to venture out the, the adventure out the uh, their race it's usually it's usually due to it's usually due to at times black women may have a extreme uh, extreme hypergamous nature and it's usually it's usually it's usually uh, played upon with media influence examples as you know typically when um when I was growing up when I was growing up uh, all the black chicks in my school would usually go for you know the dudes that can uh, that had the Jordans, the dudes that the jocks, mm-hmm. the um, the the you know the the typically the the top level guys, any anybody that's 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 top level and whatnot, mm-hmm. and and media plays into it like uh, things like BET and and whatnot plays into it like wow I want I want I want a rapper I want a celebrity and whatnot. What's your what's your take on that? I don't want to I don't want to go. With no, that. I agree with you. I, I agree with you that like. You know, a lot of guys got got kind of left to the wayside. A lot of black guys during right. those years, like high school years, got left to the wayside. Like, you know, if you wasn't, if you didn't have that star quality, you know, right. if you wasn't Mr. Popular, like, yeah, the, the, the hot black chicks probably wasn't even, even registering you, bro. You, you, they, you right. didn't exist. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, I remember, I remember in high school, um, there was a time, like, I remember like my, like the first and second year of high school, I was invisible, bro. Do you get what I'm saying? It wasn't until like I started playing sports and then by playing sports I got in really good with the, the boys that were popular in my year and then now nah, we're going down to the girls' school to meet the girls at the girls' school. Now nah, I'm actually I'm at, because I've got the the um I've been accepted by the boys that are the popular boys, now nah, the right. girls by proxy accept me because they're like, who's this new guy? Like you know what I mean? So yeah, if you don't have that star quality, it's gonna be yeah. difficult. You will get rejected and left and and then what happens with a lot of these guys? Mm-hmm. You know, they take it as oh, all black women didn't want me. You know, yeah, I wasn't cool know. enough. I wasn't like hood enough. I wasn't this and that. And I do get where they're coming from because I remember at times when I would I, back in the day when I was a nice guy and it didn't work. I know this. I make videos about this. I know right. this thing. Do you get what I'm saying? But you have to be realistic as well, like. At the end of the day, you have to ask a lot of questions. Okay, was you t- what was you at your best really? Like, yeah. do you get what I'm saying? Was you putting the best product out there? Number one. Number two. What kind of girls was you going for? Because if you was going for the the hype girls, the kind of girls that obviously are gonna go for hood g- dudes and those kind of boys, then obviously you're gonna fail, bro. Because you're not in that you're not in that realm. So how are you gonna? It's not gonna work, bro. Like. Like, water seeks its own level. Because the funny thing is, is and, and, and there's an Asian boy that told me this, yeah? One time in school. He said, because there was a time when I was complaining, oh, these girls, the girls I like don't like me. And he said, bro, but you don't even notice the girls that like you. And he said that to me, because he said, bro, there's bare times I catch girls looking at you and you just don't even register them, bruv. That's true. You're too busy. You're too busy trying to worry about the top-notch girls. That yes, you're busy, exactly. About, like, who likes you and i'm a firm believer yeah. that, uh, for guys it's like you're you're better off you know uh being with the girl that genuinely likes you yes of, yeah yes yeah. and that's so, something uh, i had to learn bro like you had to, had to learn that bro 
there's, bro, there's girls. And, yeah, someone said guilty. Someone in it, bro, write guilty in the chat if you know you're one of those guys, bro. You was only looking at the, you wanted the prom queen, bro, the black prom queen, blood. You wanted the black Barbie doll, doll in school. Yeah, and you was upset because she wanted the 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 the, the um, first string running back. And, and she wanted the first string running back. She wanted the the the, the all American linebacker, bro. She wanted the top scorer the, in 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 the league. <laughs> Do you know what I'm saying? She wanted the Mr. Cool guy, the one that's funny and and he's taller than everybody else. Like, bro, we've all done it, bro. Nothing, Go on. There's nothing. There's nothing wrong with. Uh, there's nothing wrong with that. Honestly, the way I see it is there's nothing wrong with that woman wanting that type of archetype of dude. It's just that if you want to be, if you want her to want you, you know what you have to become. Yes. I had to become... Bro, do you know what's funny, my bro? I don't mean to, to, to interrupt you, but I have I have this conversation with one of my friends. I was talking to him last night as well, yeah? And he's probably watching, yeah? He's probably laughing, Yeah. Cause we had this conversation about because he's known me for years he knew me before i was king riches bro yeah and he knew me when like yeah i would get girls but it wasn't to the frequency that i can get them now do you get what i'm saying and bro there was a metamorphosis that happened bro like it, it wasn't just like oh i just want all these girls and nah they should just like me just because i'm me and i'm a nice guy no, bro. It doesn't go like. I'm sorry. The world is not fair like that, bro. Like you have to be the best you can be, and then even when you're at your best, you're still gonna get rejected by a lot of them, bro. That's how it goes. But now, after my metamorphosis to become more, more of the guy I know I'm supposed to be, yes, of course, I'm now I'm reaping more of the spoils of that, bro. Like, bro, bro. I went to go and meet him. I meant to go. I went to go and meet him in East London, bro. That day when I went to go and meet him in East London, bruv, every single girl I moved to, this is not every single girl I saw or I wanted to, this is every single girl I moved to, when I went up there, I converted, got the number, chatting to them, bruv. Every single one. Do you think I could have done that before? I didn't even have the confidence to do that before. Yeah, you had to become. I had to become. This is why I do, and I'm glad, I'm glad you put it up. Get power. This is why I keep telling you guys, get power, bro. This is what I did it in my own life, bro. Get power. Money, your physical look, your physicals, bruv. Everything physical about you. You have to maximize it, bruv. Everybody don't look the same. Some people are uglier than others. I get that, bro. But you need to maximize what you've got because that's all you got. So maximize the cards you've been dealt. Yeah? And then, obviously, you need to get smart. You need your mental power. You need to know what's going on. Because if without mental power, you're going to make dumb mistakes over and over and over again. You don't even know why you're losing, why you're getting rejected all the time. You need to understand, yeah? And then social power, bro, you have to be able to talk. If you don't know how to talk, not only will you not be able to get girls, you won't be getting um, opportunities in life to excel your life further in career-wise and, uh, and opportunity-wise. Because it's not about what you know, it's about who you know. Right. So... Yeah. That's literally the game, bruv. Like, forget about dating coaches. Forget about everything. If if nobody remembers anything from this live stream, get power, bruv. Financial, physical, mental, social, bruv. You have to. You have to. Well, go on, bro. Also, I wanted to add on. Um, what's your opinion on um when black men, as they move up the, you know, the social hierarchy, either in business or either in like. Ah, uh, your audio, your audio is gone. Uh, I don't know what happened, bruh. I don't know what happened. Um, all right, big up to the cash appers. Big up to the cash appers, man. Big up Daniel. Hold on. Big up Daniel G for the cash app donation. I appreciate that, man. Big up, big up to Daniel G, man. Hold on, hold on, my bro. Uh, big up Ray. Ray Big up Ray Carl for the cash app donation. He says, very good video. I appreciate that, my brother. Appreciate that highly, yeah. And big up to Morosa, man. Yeah, always supporting. Big up Morosa, man, for the cash app donation. I appreciate that, my bro. Carry on, bro. Yeah. Um, what's, your, what's your idea on as when black men move up the social hierarchy within wealth or within business and as they're moving up, their environments change and they're exposed to, you know, 
few uh, less black people, i.e., let alone black women, and they start dating outside of their race because you know the exposure of you know uh, said black women within that environment, or that kid that ends up, you know, his parents end up moving into a white prominent neighborhood, and he goes to a, you know a white prominent school, and he ends up dating you know white women or or other races of women due to the fact of the exposure of not much black women around him what's what's your what's your opinion on that it, it what's my opinion in terms of what like what he should do uh meaning like uh like is is should it should it be seen as a negative condemnation or 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 because a lot of times a lot of times i come across a lot of brothers that that you know they they only date white women due to the fact that that's what they were typically exposed to. They they go to they go to they lived in um pretty prominent white neighborhoods. They went to pretty prominent white schools and also, you know. No 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 no. With that, okay. Yeah. With that, yeah, I get what you're saying. It's because they they're dating oh, yeah. they're dating in regards to proximity. Like that's what you're yeah. saying basically. Like I get I get. Like, at the end of the day, it's like if you're a black guy and you're you're, you're in France, like more than likely you're gonna you're gonna date a woman that's French. Because you're in yeah. France, <laughs> do you get what I'm saying? Like, so I wouldn't, I, I wouldn't be, I wouldn't begrudge any black guy who dates interracially. That's not the the right. point of what I'm saying or what I've ever said. Do you get what I'm saying? Sure. I I don't have a problem yeah. with I don't have a problem with black guys dating interracially. It's not my business. I don't care. The the thing that my the, the issue I have is that there are there are a segment of of black guys you know a lot of them that watch channels like mine who leave comments under videos like my videos and say stuff that is disparaging directly and only to black women but seem to not never have the same vim for women outside of their race and I find that to be right. very alarming and very weird. It's like, and, and again, it's just like I said, I did a video where I did a reaction video to a white white female YouTuber who was talking about how she went and smashed, let the bad boy smash and all of this nonsense, bro. And then there was black guys that still came onto the video and somehow they managed to turn the, their comment around to what black women are doing wrong. Oh, wow. And I was just like, what in the actual F is that? Bro, I, I'm sure the comment, the, the main comment, I left one of them up on underneath that video. And I was like, bro, why did you say that? This video's got nothing to do with black women. And the woman in the video is a white girl. Why are you talking about black men, women for? He didn't reply. Wow. That's, uh, that's pretty pathetic. That's pathetic. That is it's very pathetic. And there's some guys that are watching that will still think that that's okay. Yeah, that's, uh, that's, that's uh, guys, we can't, we can't be can't be doing it bro i'm saying I'm, you can't be doing it bro like can't because then you 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 are not no better than them chicks that you complain about you're not no better than them. you're the same you're actually probably even worse yeah because a lot of those black chicks that complain about black guys they really they really deep down want a black guy <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's true. you're not lying yeah, so, but go on. but in terms of, the, yeah, in terms of the guy that is dating according to his proximity, you can't begrudge him because that's yeah. what he's around. And probably the way he's calibrated, he probably is more more or less calibrated to date those girls anyway, because that's been his his, his experience. But the, these yeah. guys that are on in these comment sections saying all this kind of simp stuff towards Becky's, these are guys that live in the hood. These are guys that lived in normal environments that weren't necessarily like white suburban. They weren't. The black women. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. Well, to sum it all up, um, hey guys, we shouldn't be idolizing. Um, we shouldn't be idolizing no other race of women uh, over any over your race of women or whatnot. In the sense, bro, women are women. They're all. They all. They all typically think on on sense of bounds and probabilities um, statistically. Um, we we have to we have to be better than that. We have to be better. We can't be leaving comments like that, guys. Mm, this is it's just it was just a, and the thing is this is not just a one off thing that I'm talking about. Like that has been a running theme that I've noticed for a while. Like. Like a lot of these guys, when they see a, when they see videos where it's time to talk about black women, they, it's like their like their eyes light up, bruv. 
yeah, it's like they they get excited, and I and I've came across I've came across uh, a lot of I've came across a lot of guys like that too. Mm. And I, I would have to I would have to shut it down. Uh, I would have to tell them like, yo, you got the game all messed up. You got, you, you, you got the game all messed up. But I don't want to take up much of your time. I really appreciate your work. I really appreciate your contest, and keep it up, man. I. Yeah. I'll yep. try my best, my bro. I'll try my best. I appreciate you you supporting, man. And call back in another time, yeah? Anytime, man. Thanks. Uh, all right, man. Take care, fam. All right, big up Derek, man. Big up Derek. All right, cool. Big up to um, Math Magic for the Super Chat. It says, society teaches everyone not to value black men. Yeah, pretty much. I agree with that. <laughs> big up uh, Math Magic. That's pretty true, actually. All right, cool. Um, Gemma. Hello. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. What's going on, Gemma? I'm fine, thank you. How are you doing? I'm all right. I'm all right. So, what what do you think? Do you think black black men are simps for white women? Well, this is an interesting one. Um, so, I just want you to start off by saying, um, I think that it's more so obviously in certain areas. So, I live in the Midlands. Yeah. Um, so it's obviously predominantly white. So um, there are, of course, ethnic minorities. Yeah. So I think in certain areas, um, this if there's a majority race in a certain area, um, that's what people are going to be drawn to, mm -hmm. um, regardless of who they are. But obviously multicultural cities like London... Um, Obviously, there's all kinds of different types of women and things like that. Um, so I don't necessarily think in those kind of areas um, that um, simping's happening as much as it is in maybe areas where there are more white people. So what? So what you're saying? There's more simping in multicultural areas. Is that what you're saying? No. Oh, you said the opposite. There's a, there's more simping if it's an area where it's m mostly yes. white people. Yes. Okay. Okay. Carry on. Um. So yeah, that's the first thing that I think, and also I think that I found in recent years mm. that actually the simping has actually reduced generally because I think now in the media you are seeing more ethnic girls, more black. Girls, Asian, Arabic, Iranian. Uh, everyone's saying that you're 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 a white girl. What what are you? So I'm white. Um, I have got black humi, but only a quarter black. Okay, so you're you're you 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 you're one of them ones that you. What are you white passing? I am. You're white passing, but you've got like what a quarter. What so one quarter of your black quarter Jamaican. Okay, 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 okay. It's gone. Um, so, yeah, and I think in recent years, because there have been other types of women from different... Hold on, 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 because now I know that a lot of these guys are getting excited, bruv, yeah? You lot hit the like button and hit the super chat, man. Support the channel, bro. Yeah? There ain't no other YouTubers like me, bro. Yeah? There ain't no other YouTubers like me. I'm not trying to be like Kevin Samuels, bruv, like everybody else is. Yeah, I'm me. Yeah, get the likes up on the video. All right, R.I.P. to Kevin Samuels. But a, a lot of these other YouTubers now nah, they're trying to do what Kevin Samuels is, was doing. And if you really want to keep it a, a, a buck, I was talking to women on these these caller shows before even Kevin Samuels came out, bruv. So let's keep it a buck. So everyone, hit the like button. Yeah, hit the super chat. Support the channel. Hit the cash out. If you can't do the super chat. Hit the cash app right now, yeah? Pound sign King Riches 1. Big up to my bro, JY's TV, man. Big up my bro, JY's TV, man. He's got his own YouTube channel. Make sure you go check out his channel, man. Big up JY's TV, man. Make, let me make you a mod as well. Big up JY's TV. Get me. I was watching your live stream the other day, bro. Hey, JY's, I was watching your live stream the other day. You didn't know I was there, but I was watching, bro. You get me? So big up JY's TV, man. Another UK black brother over there. Like, you get me? Big up snapshot reviews for the super chat. He says, um, it's only the ones with sweller mindset on both sides, like men and women, that talk down about their own race. It's like they want to prove that they are better than their own. Yeah, I, I agree with that. 
swirler swirler men swirler women it's like they have a like some weird weird animosity to their own and they want to put it in everybody's face and try and put like it's just a weird weird sick mindset like do you know what i mean again if you want to date if you want to date interracially there's nothing wrong with that i've done it prolifically bruv <laughs> yeah but at the end of the day you've never you'll never catch me like gassing up becky's over you know black girls like you ain't, you ain't gonna no bruv no like that's not what i'm here to do because that's weird you know what i'm saying so that's it but anyway Gemma, with a quarter black in you go on <laughs> <laughs> women in the media mm. so I think that now the mindset of black men is changing a lot mm. um, where they're noticing and recognising um, black humour so I don't think that the simping is as bad as it used to be maybe in the 90s mm. um, I think it has definitely changed and that's because um, more ethnic minority women and black girls are being introduced into the media. What so do you think okay, like so do you agree that yes you do see um black guys simping for, for Becky's, like white chicks? Uh yes, of course it still exists. Mm. But again, I find it strange because if you look at men of other races, they don't seem they don't seem to be doing it as much as black Okay, and what what way what ways? Let me ask you this: What ways do you, in your opinion, what are the ways that you see black guys simping for for like white women or non-black women? Like, what are the ways you've seen it? So the first way that I say is that they degrade black women, mm. um, and then they will so they'll say maybe a negative comment about black women and then a positive one about white women. And um, there's a recent TikTok that's gone viral. Um, I can't remember the name of it. Mm. Um, and then there was a, uh, I think he was mixed race or black, I can't remember, but he was basically saying all black women are ugly. And then he compared them to a black footballer. Mm. And then he said, so I, if I'm going to go out with a black girl, I'm only going to go out with a black girl that looks like a white girl. Mm. Um, so this TikTok's now gone viral. People on YouTube are making videos about this. So I think what the first way that, Simping's happening is that they will degrade black women mm. um, in order to put white women essentially on a pedestal. Mm. So that's the first thing. Um, the second thing, I think one of your other callers mentioned that it's um, the issue that they feel like they have to voice it to everyone and they have to make it known. Yeah, yeah. So they will have to come out and make it and say, right, I only like white women. I only like um, and have to just make a big deal out of it as opposed to just going along with their business and just doing, doing their thing yeah really it's like i get guys yeah. I, it's like i get guys under my videos they'll have to write I, i'm a black guy from america and i only like white women or i'm a okay, black guy exactly. from from london and i only like asian women that's what i want it's like bro exactly. i don't care what you want so what who gives a damn what you want bro that's you. Whereas I find that racism <laughs> other men, if they do like other races that are outside of their ethnic group, they just carry on with it and they do it quietly and carry on with their lives and yeah. they don't make an issue out of it. But what black men who are doing this simping behaviour is they bring it to the forefront and they do it consistently. Yeah, yeah. It's just and like it's just like what I'm saying. It's just like what I'm feel a certain way and I don't blame them for feeling that way. Yeah, it's just yeah. like what I'm saying with these guys that Cause this is the reason why I know this too. Cause there's always these consistent guys under my videos that always mm -hmm. have to write these certain things, mm -hmm. the exact thing you're talking about. And it's like they never. If if I do a video about anything else, they'd never comment. But as soon as they get an opportunity yeah. to say something about black women or blah blah blah, that's why yes. I go and do my own thing. S Y S P M. It's like, like, what, bro, get a life, bro. Like you don't really and understand what like, this world's you said about, sometimes bro. Sometimes it's embarrassing because yeah. the white yeah <laughs> not only are they now not only are they degrading black women they're now also embarrassing them 
themselves. Yeah, this is the facts. And then this is why the white women go around, a lot of them, um, and now they themselves feel like they're better than other women from ethnic groups because of simps like that. Because yep. they're placing them on a pedestal yep. consistently day after day. So now they're going to start to believe that they are the best. Absolutely. Absolutely. And then where the problem lies, you see. She's, he, and then people say, oh, well, why are black girls getting angry? Why are they aggressive? Why they, well, I don't blame them because I would be as well. Yeah. No, you, you absolutely smashed it. You hit the nail right on the head. Like, for, uh, and I'm going to, re I'm going to reiterate what you were saying. So what Gemma has said so eloquently that a lot of you guys have conveniently missed, and I'm going to make sure you understand it, yeah? A lot of you black guys, right? The black, these black simps that are simping for Beckys, these particular black guys, yeah? What they do, they come out and they have to be really loud about it, that I only like Beckys, I only want snow bunnies because these sisters ain't good enough for me. Cool. Why don't you, they can't do it in silence or do it, you don't even have to do it in silence, just do what you're doing, live your life, bro. Why do you not need to make this announcement, bruv? What is that about, bro? But no, they have to come out and make these announcements, and the thing is, they are, they are making these these bold statements about a, 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 a collective of women where predominantly most of them are not attracted to you. So, what happens after that is that these women now they build up a superiority complex over you because you've embarrassed your own women and you've embarrassed yourself as well yeah because you're talking about women that you probably most of you can't get those women anyway unless you are devilishly good looking or have money or clout right and then so now those women will have a, a even higher superiority complex over all ethnic women of ethnic minorities because even the men of those minorities are simping after them and kissing their butt it's yes. it's not a good look again i'm not telling you you can't do ir dating but there's a more uh, a sensible way to go about doing it there's a more less there's a less offensive way of doing it a less a, 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 just a more sensible way to do it bruv yeah Carry on, go on, go on, carry on. Yeah, so for example, just going on from that point as well, so for another example is there's a lot of um, white men that are in interracial relationships with um, Asian, as in Oriental, Chinese women, etc. But again, you don't see them writing comments saying, I only like Chinese girls, <laughs> um, blah, blah, blah. You know, I only want this, I only want to go here, I only want to go to this country, I only want to look at Chinese women. Mm. So that's what i'm saying on that point mm. um and then so yes obviously then the white women you just made a good point as well Kim, which is because you've just said that it's not only then the black men that's simping, simping after the white women it's also their own community men mm. that are after them so now they're getting it from all angles and then it's building up and building up and building up yeah because i um, whenever whenever i do videos talking about um black guys have it the hardest in dating in general yeah like i always yeah. say black guys because all, all black guys are not tyrones even though everybody else in the world thinks all black guys are tyrones we're not all tyrones bruv yeah mm -hmm. most of us are average to below average that's just the way of the world right and i get a lot of like asian guys or indian guys that try to say no actually we're at the bottom we have it the hardest we have it way harder than all you black guys and my, my reply to those Asian and Indian guys is the reason why you think in, in, in the West you have it harder is because most of you are going after white women, bruv. Yes. If you, if you was going, if you lot was like going after the women in your own community at a more, uh, a more um, even level, you'd probably have more success. Like, yes, that's the truth. Yeah, because because yes. because Asian Asian and Indian people don't have the same kind of um, weird dating yeah. um, conflicts that black black men and black women do. Do you get what I'm saying? No, no like an Asian like woman, I, like an Asian from woman. What I can I, I, see Asian men are they're not hateful towards women within their community. Yeah, generally. Yeah. Like, like, you don't see Asian women coming out on social media saying, I only want an Asian man that's over six foot. 
Like that don't exist. Yes. <laughs> it don't exist. You don't yes, hear so like you don't hear Asian women. Both, you don't both ways. Yeah, you don't hear Asian women talking about oh, I yes. only want an Asian man that has eight inches in his pants. Yes. That don't exist, bruv. That only yes. is reserved for black guys. <laughs> like exactly. you know what I mean? You don't see Chinese women doing it. You don't see Indian women doing this. Yeah. Indian women saying this about their own men. Yeah, and somebody said Asian women love white men, which is true, but that, th yeah, that is true, but still, most Asian people are with Asian people, yeah, and... and also, if that is true, they don't go around broadcasting it, writing comments everywhere saying, I love white men, I only want to be with white men. Yeah, white they just men. do it. Yes. They just do they it. Just get on and they do it. This is the whole point that I'm trying to make. Yeah. If you want to do something, if you like them, if you want it white, Chinese, red or green that's fine get on and do it and shut up and stop making comments and saying other silly things and stop degrading women in your own communities mm. so i'm saying so this is this is what i'm saying like so you've got with all these men of these ethnic minorities that are so hyper focused on getting a becky it's like it just makes the whole thing weird like do you know what i'm saying because it's like oh now nah. yeah. so the white women they, they white women get gassed up by their own men and then they guess they get gassed up by ethnic minority men that they don't even like <laughs> so it's <Yeah>. like <laughs> it's a monopoly at that point like do you get what i'm saying you know, i think it would be different if a lot of if the majority of white women did like black men the majority of white women if they did like black men then i think it would lessen the blow but i think the issue here is the majority of white women do not like black men. Mm. And unfortunately, that's a fact. Yeah, and you've said that earlier, bro. Um, bro, I've, 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 I've been in um involved with white girls or white and white women, and ask them flat out, like, do your friends like black guys? And the the majority of the time, they always say no. My friends don't deal with black guys like that. They don't. They don't. They may even see. They might see a black guy on TV or in a movie and think he's he's all right. Ooh, I wouldn't mind him. But the average black guy in the street, they're not even nice. no, bruv. They're not. So all of this talk about this and that is all gas. It's, it's, it's fairy tales. It's fantasy world. And I think that the, some black men, they find that very difficult to accept. Yeah, they get hurt when they... Like, a lot of black guys listening to this, they feel hurt. <laughs> it hurts them to hear this thing. Like, it don't hurt me, bruv. I don't care. Do you get what I'm saying? Like, it is what it is. I'm saying, but I don't know why it affects a lot of black men. I, I just Do you know why? why? Do you know why? It, do you know why it hurts a lot of them guys? It's because they it, it's like an indirect rejection. It's like an automatic rejection. That's why. But then why do they not get upset if a woman, like a black girl, rejects them? Then why don't they have that same level of emotion? No, they do. They do, the but world? they do, but with the guilt, with you gotta understand what I said yeah earlier is that a lot of these black guys they haven't even dated like outside their race. They haven't even done it really. So to them, it's like some fantasy thing that, oh, it's a fantasy. It's like, oh, if I go and get a Becky, she's going to she's gonna be so gorgeous. She's going to have her own natural hair and she's going to be in shape and she's going to be feminine and she's going to, you know, let me be the man and all of this and I don't have to be super rich to get with her and blah, blah, blah. And I can be a geek and she's still going to like me the same way. It's a fantasy. And where do you think this fantasy has come from? The media? Media, TV, um, adult adult movies on the internet. Because they've shown us what is apparently beautiful. Yeah. Think about it. How many how many times you've watched on a on a on a X rated movie like some ugly black guy smashing some some hot white girl? Think about it. You lot know the websites I'm talking about? I don't, King Riches. You know that I don't, listen, bruv. Don't even try it, bruv. Yeah, <laughs> don't even try it, bruv. Yeah, they'll show they'll show some some ugly black guy with with a fifteen inch sausage, and then he's just with some some bad B Becky, bruv. And then now think about it. If you're black guys, you've been watching that, watching that. You you, you start to think that raw. Oh, this is actually yeah. This I can do this as well. No, you can't. It's not real, bruv. That woman is getting paid, bruv. Do you understand? Yeah. <laughs> this, is, this is the thing. I think what they think is they, they, they look at all these things 
and they think they can incorporate it into their average lives. Yeah. It's not going to happen. You're not even built like that physically. <laughs> like you're, it's just delusion, bruv. <laughs> It's a joke, bro. It's a joke. It's actually a joke, bro. And it's warped so many minds, bro. Like, do you get what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, you if you watch the movies, if you watch the movies so much, you'll start to think, oh, this can this can actually, I can do this as well. But when you actually go out in the real world, how many times have you seen the, these these less than attractive black guys with that level of non-black women? It, pff, come on, bro. Come on, bro. Yes, that Unless is. they off Premier Premier League footballer, yeah, it's not, bruv. That That's is the facts. It. Go on. And then another thing, um, King Rich, is there was apparently a study done um, mm. across all the dating apps recently. Mm. Mm. So on some of the dating apps, um, when you first sign up and you can go to settings, you can change your preference. Mm. Um, so then they've done a study about all the different ethnic groups and what they've kind of placed in their preferences, male and female. Mm. Um, and then apparently the males' um, preferences across the board, apparently black women came at the bottom of that. So a lot of people were ticking the box to not show them um, profiles of black women. Mm. And then they have um, then narrowed it down to per race. They've looked at the race of the man and, 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 and looked at it like that. And that thing was across the board. So even for black men, the, the highest amount that they were ticking that they did not want to see in their profiles were black women. No, I don't know Which about... Like, um, well, yeah. I don't know. I don't know about... I don't know about all of that, but... I'm just going off what I do know and what I've seen in it, like, cause I I don't know about that. But all I know is that, like, a lot of guys that I've heard their opinions or I've seen their comments, and it's just like it's absolutely ridiculous. It's just like, bro, get a life, bro. Like, get a life. Like, there's no no there's no race of women that is perfect. None. So absolutely. And if you if you want to have a preference, have a preference, but don't be nasty to other people. Um, other ethnic groups. Yeah. Is I'm there saying. any? Is there any example like examples from real life that like you can touch on or anything like that? Um. So the only kind of examples I have is when I was at uni. So at university, obviously, you've got loads of different groups of people coming together. Mm -hmm. Um. And I had just noticed that there were of relationships that black men were in with black women and mm. um, but then when they cheated they were just cheating with white women so that's <laughs> kind of the <laughs> example that i can get but again at university it might be that there have been a lot of people that haven't come across white girls before they've come from certain areas and then mm. everyone's chucked into one place mm. um and then maybe they've just got overexcited because mm. they haven't been around all the Beckys. Yeah, because it goes back to it goes back to the it goes back to what I said about the sweets. Like if you've had only one type of sweet, yes, like your whole time, and you liked it, you liked it because it's a sweet, you like it. But then, rah, like you go to a new shop and now that sweet's there, but there's another sweet there, a new flavor you ain't never tasted, bruv. You're not familiar with that. You're gonna wanna taste that flavor. You're gonna. Yeah, you're going to start acting a bit excited for that new flavour. You're probably going to go through a phase of just eating that, bruv. Do you yes. get what I'm saying? Like, but then you're not going to... It's not necessarily that you think the old flavour is nasty. It's just that this is new. <laughs> and I want to try yeah, this. <laughs> Do you know what I'm saying? Like, come. Exactly. Um, but I also think that, you know, people are simps as well. Mm. Um in a, in a way, they're quite brave as well. Um, so there was another example actually at uni. Um, so there was a black guy um, and he, like he was just known, you know, sometimes when they're just known yeah. to like white women. Yeah. So he met one of the girls, um, I think they 
ended up in a relationship, but he was quite vocal mm. um, that he liked white women and things up to that point. Okay. Um, and then there was an incident on campus where the girl got beaten up, cigarette butts. Um, like some girls beat her up and stuff. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I don't understand. So, 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 the 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 guy said that he liked white girls. Yeah, the black boy. Yeah, very vocal about it at uni because obviously my university was quite small, so everyone knew about it. Then he met, and then he started to, and then he got into a relationship with a white girl. But he made a point of it that he didn't really hang about with or speak with black girls. Like so 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 them. what so what like did he met a black girl that he started going out with? No, he met a white girl. Okay, and then who got beat but up? He got into into a relationship with her. Okay, then who got beat up? And then the white girl got beat up by groups of black girls oh. at the university, like badly beaten that up. Mm. Um, like I said, cigarette butts and everything. They yeah, yeah, yeah. So what I put, so what I put, they don't want to get too deep. I want to keep this monetized, yeah? Keep it monetized. But the point is, is that it would, because of how he was with the simping and this issue of vocalising things, mm. which we just spoke about, then the white girl got beaten up and stuff. Oh, so you're saying because that it was because of the guy simping. Out. Yeah, I, I get it now, yeah. So now because yeah. of that, the white girl's got beaten which again that's not fair because what he should have done was if you again if you like white girls he should have just carried on with the relationship got his degree left uni and lived happily ever after but he didn't yeah. and then the white girl got beaten up because of it yeah boy so, so i see man look at the end of the day like it's like a thing of like if you're gonna do if you're gonna do that thing you don't need to rub it in people's faces bruv like just do it. what you're doing blood like do you get yeah, what i'm saying like I to say really yeah, man, that that's crazy, man. That's some crazy. That's unfortunate that she got beat up, but at the end of the day, she yeah. she should look at it. It's the guy's fault because the guy, the black, the black exactly. guy, kept flipping, rubbing it. Every, like if you're being overly vocal, that just that's bro. What is that about? Like, what are you trying to do, bro? Exactly. Like, do you know what I mean? Like, you're trying to make these black, you're trying to make black girls that are in the vicinity feel bad. Like, like you, you, yeah. you you're and not. Then he used to segregate himself on purpose. Yeah, that yeah. But he's in it. He's the he's yeah. the one that should have got beaten up. Not not her. It's not it's not her fault, exactly. in it. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. But yeah, is there any, what else did you want to say? Because I got bare people waiting though. Yeah, no, that's it, King Witches. Thank you very much for having me on, mate. All right, no problem, no problem. Hey, call back in another time. Yeah, I appreciate no the call problem. though. Yeah. Take care. All right, then take care. Bye bye. Bye. All right, big up Gemma. Big up Gemma. All right, cool. Um. Big up to Math Magic. It says racial dating simping comes from women, not men. Um, racial dating simping comes from women, not men. I don't know about that, bro. I don't know about that. All right. But big up for the super chat. Big up Lefty. Um, he says, I'm born and raised in Seattle and it's it's the same everywhere, bro. Believe me. I'm 6'10", played NCAA Pro Bowl all over the world and I still get the same. Bruh, I don't know what you mean by it's the same everywhere, bro. But number one, you're six foot ten. Like this is what I'm saying. Like some people just don't understand the world, bruv. You've said that you are six foot ten and played NCAA pro basketball all over the world and still get the same girls. Of course you're going to get the <laughs> Blood, please, somebody in the chat. Press one if you know where I'm about to go with this, bruv. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, King Riches, you're talking rubbish. You're talking rubbish. No, all women like black guys because I'm six foot ten and I played uh college basketball and pro basketball all over the world and i got the same girls black white whatever so what you're saying is wrong no bro no bro do you understand that you're six foot ten and you're playing pro basketball <laughs> have, has that have, have you forgotten all of that have you forgotten that girls like tall guys 
Have you forgotten that hypergamy states that you playing pro b basketball f and you're an American and you're playing pro basketball in other countries actually puts you at a higher advantage than it, all the other guys in the vicinity? Do you understand that? And that's regardless of race. So you coming to say that means absolutely nothing and i'm not trying to be horrible to you because you did su support the channel with a super chat and i appreciate that and that's love and i appreciate that my bro big up to you lefty 206 but at the same time you need to think with a logical brain bruv like you need to think with a logical brain you're six foot ten and you played ncaa basketball so that means you pl you played college basketball yeah and let me tell you this i played college football in america and i'm from the uk and i smashed a lot of girls the first day i met them bruv why because i was from the uk and i was playing on the on the football team bruv ncaa so Obviously, I had an advantage over the other guys that were smaller than me, shorter than me, that wasn't foreign, that wasn't on a collegiate team, a team that represents the school every weekend, where everybody's mums and dads come to watch, where your name gets called out on, <laughs> on the loudspeaker, your name and, num and jersey number gets called out on the loudspeaker, bro. That's a hype. That that automatically puts you at a higher level, bro. So you, you did that. And not only that, you played pro basketball as well. And you was playing in other parts of the world. Brother, brother, think, bro. Think about it, bro. <laughs> you got to think, bro. Like, you're going to be six foot ten wherever you go in this world. <laughs> Do you understand? Big up Lefty206 for the super chat though, man. It's all love. Hey, big up Snapchat reviews for another super chat. It says, dating someone of another race who talks down about their own is weird. Absolutely agree. Um, uh, do these people think it makes them more appealing to do that? It's a turn off. Bro, it's embarrassing. And it should be a turn off. It's embarrassing. And, and another thing I'll say, if you're a black guy and you're talking down about your own race to your non-black um um, girlfriend or whatever and she's condoning it doesn't that let you know that she doesn't rate you and your people bro like pff, i don't know that's a joke big up uh michael metro for the super chat appreciate that salute salute uh big up dark nova for the super chat he says as a person from seattle um, I am six foot three skinny and I can definitely say I don't get much attention from white females. Yes, I see black men with white women, but white American women f from what all my friends say are very weird. White, white women, but white, a, I don't know. Um, bro, at the end of the day, like six foot three and skinny, I could say... Bro, at the end of the day, it, 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 it kind of... It, I don't know, bruv. I don't know. I don't know. It depends on you, bro. Like, you might... Bro, let's keep it real. You might be weird, bro. Like, let's keep it real. <laughs> you might be weird. I don't know. Like, you know what I'm saying? But I know six foot three is way above the average height of, of, of men in your country. I know that. Do you get what I'm saying? So... Like, maybe you might want to go and follow my philosophy of get power. Money, physical, mental, and social. You might want to go and focus on that, bruv. You know what I'm saying? And when I talk about my concept of power, yeah, this isn't about women. This is about you making yourself the best version of yourself. Yeah, that's what it's about. All right. Um. Okay, cool. That's the super chats. Um, let me get to um, uh, call it. All right, Math Magic. What are you telling me? Yeah, what's going on, King Riches? Yeah, what's good? What's good? What are you telling me? Hey, uh, I, I disagree. All I, right. I think it's the other way around. All right. Um, so, so um, I would say most women are more socially dependent. You understand, like, up until like 50, 60 years ago, women couldn't work. They couldn't just stay being able to work like 60 years ago. A lot of times, like 40, 50 years ago, they couldn't even have bank accounts. So traditionally, throughout evolutionary biology, 
budget issue we're going to have to depend on the social protection of the resources uh so that's why it's going to be more you talk about your aggression thing you're going to see that more on the people side hey bro your audio your audio is really bad bro can you hear me yeah, it's going in and out, and I can kind of hear your background as well. Oh, hold on, hold on. So, uh, is it better now? Yeah, yeah, go on, carry on talking. Yeah, so I'm saying, like, you know, like, because the whole, this, this whole thing is about racial, simple, and dating, you're right at the same time, you, know, you do have a lot of black guys that are out here talking about they want to date black women and all that stuff uh, but I think a lot of it still comes from ignorance you get what I'm saying because yeah. if, if we're talking about America in particular and even the UK you, you found this most black guys are coming from broken homes mm -hmm. so you know they're not being exposed to a lot of things they're not being exposed to a lot of information See, like you said they put this on TV and, and funny enough like I think I mentioned before the seventy five percent of white people do not have any friends of color. Like, so, <laughs> I don't know. What what do you think? No, I, I, I um I agree with that. Most bro, most most like non black most white people don't really have no black friends, bro. Most. Nah, if they grew up if they grew up in if they grew up somewhere where it's like London, like inner city, urban city areas, then yeah, they of course they will, because you, you just can't help it. But if it's just like a more like spaced out kind of thing, yeah, they're not. Why would they like? <laughs> why would they? <laughs> the bone of con the, bo the bone of contention is here is that black people in general, both men and women, have been so sort of kind of brainwashed to look for the pro the solutions to their problems from other people. Yeah, I agree. You know, so I have dating problems. Bro, they your audio, you, bro, your audio. Bro, 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 your audio is really, um, your audio is really letting you down, bro. People are dropping off the, yeah, the pe people, people, yeah, it's not really, because you can hear the background and it's a bit like, like robot -y kind of thing. You know what I'm saying? And people are dropping off the live stream as well, like, but I hey, try and call back again, though, like, try and call back in again, if you can get to a quieter area. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, all right, appreciate it, my bro. All right. Yeah, man. Hey, all these people dropping off, man. Flipping heck. All right, cool. Uh, Alex. Hello, uh, King Richards. Can you hear me? Yeah. Yeah, I just want to say that I most uh, definitely agree with everything you've said. Um, I think What, what about okay 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 what about this the t the topic bro yeah right well it is relevant to the topic but yeah um i i do uh, really agree with what you're saying it really is like true and stuff um that black people it's a little bit more challenging for the average black guy and stuff mm. and um well it, it's one of those things i i wish i could say a lot Yeah. And I do my best really to, where there's a black person I know personally, I try to uh, take good care of them. And uh, it's one of those things um, where really and truly I, I wonder about it. And um, well, yeah, um, I do wonder, if you, correct me if I'm wrong, but I assume in rare cases where it works out well, where like a black guy gets a, an attractive white girl. I've always wondered, and I, I may be right or I might be wrong, what I'm about to say, mm. but I've always wondered if it would work more easy in the black guy's favour if it was in. They live together as, a, as an interracial couple in a black majority environment. Mm. That's what I've always wondered. That's a good question, you know. That's actually a really good question. I, what do I think about that? Yeah. I think 
honestly, it depends what kind of black guy it is. Because if, it, if it's a black guy that is, like, a uh, very, like, urban, you know, rap music, you know, stereo... If it's a more stereotypical black guy, yeah, and he's, with, he's doing interracial, it would probably be better if they was in a more black in neighbourhood. If he's a black guy that is more, like, you know, let's say more... Um, balance let's let, let's just let's even just make it more even easier than that if he's a black guy that's more white yeah you know we've all met black guys that are like white boys yeah that white guys yeah if he's one of those kind of black guys with a white girl it's probably better that he's in a white environment simple yeah i hear you um the only reason i wondered that is because i don't know if you know Yeah, but if she if she if she's the if she's the kind of white girl that she that she date she's willing to be with this black guy a day in day out walking the in public with them and you know have a like a normal relationship she put even if there was white dudes around she probably wouldn't care anyway I know why I know white girls like that where I live that they like black guys they don't care who sees they live in white areas and it doesn't matter if white guys move to them because they they don't they're not really attracted to white guys like that they're just not uh, yeah so it would, it, it, would, it would actually it would actually make more um if anyone's gonna find competition it's gonna be the black guy because if he's in an all black environment with his white girlfriend she's gonna see other black guys that she probably finds attractive But, um, but yeah, uh, I definitely, you know, um, I definitely feel for you if what you, you're saying really is true and what it's like. Hey, I don't, you don't need to, hey, bro, you don't need to say you feel for me, bro, I do well. I do okay, like, I do I do very well, bro. Even in this area where it's very, very difficult, I've still managed to do a lot of damage, bruv. <laughs> in putting it like that, yeah? But the thing is, I... What my my gift is, yeah, is that I can see the world from outside myself. Many people can't do that. They, many, many people are just very biased. Like, just because they're losing, they think everybody else is losing. Or just because they're winning, they think everybody else is winning. And they can't understand why other people can't win. Me, on the other hand, because it's like I've lived so many different lives in different areas with different types of people... I can see how it is for people that are not like me. Do you get what I'm saying? I remember I remember when I used to be a nice guy and, and I wanted the girl to come to the cinema with me and she just ghosted me and flaked. I know how that feels. I know how it feels to be the only token black guy in an environment where it's all white people and white girls and you know you can tell the white girls are not interested in you. I've been in them environments and then I've been the opposite. I've been the black guy that has been with the white girl that, you know, she's good looking and these white boys don't understand why how you managed to do that. I've been that guy too. Do you get what I'm saying? Like, then, you know, obviously I'm a black guy that I've messed with a lot of black girls. I've had a lot of black girlfriends and then I've had non-black girlfriends. And, you know, I've done so much stuff that I can see things from different people's point of views. Do you get what I'm saying? So, like, when you say you're sorry for me, don't be sorry for me, bro. i got a high body count, bro. <laughs> Do you get what I'm saying? Like, I'm just being real. <laughs> Do you know what I'm saying? So, I appreciate that, my bro. So, you experience basically multiple worlds. That's, yeah. that's how I can tell you're very realistic, really. Yeah. That's why, like, that's why I'd say you're, you're definitely, you're built for the average guy, whereas some of these other channels, they're, more, they're not really built. They sell that they're for everyone when really not one size fits all. That's yeah, exactly. Exactly. In the last couple of years. 
Exactly. Like, they, like these guys are trying to be one size fits all. It, it can't. One size can't fit everybody. It can't, bro. It's impossible. Everybody looks different. Everybody's different heights. Everybody's got different size sausage, bro. Everybody's got different game. Some people are confident. Some people are introverts. Some people are extroverts. Some people are black. Some people are white. Some people live in predominantly white areas. Some live, people live in hoods. Some people live in ghettos. Some people are living high class. Some people are born into money. Some people are born into poverty, bruv. Everybody's different, bruv. So, and everybody likes different things. Everyone's preferences are different as well. So, there's no way a dating coach can come out and say, this is how it is, just do this and it will work. It don't matter. The only thing I advise, which I know is universal, is the power concept I always talk about. Get money get physical power get mental power get social power that goes across the board those things go across the board apart apart from that everything else is 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 they're just talking rubbish they're just trying to sell you your course yeah i figured that out like a few years ago you should have figured it out for me bro i told you get power bro <laughs> you know what i'm saying well in a way you kind of are right i figured it out this Mm -hmm. And that's how I grew out of the old PUA stuff, which I don't really take seriously anymore. Mm. Like, if I watch any of it, it's like it's for entertainment or whatever, and then I sort of move on. Mm. Mm -hmm. But, um, yeah, um, I hope I'm not uh, holding you up. No, no, it's cool, but I just want to try and... Because I'm coming up to, like, three hours. I want to get the rest of the people on. So I'm going to try and kind of roll through the callers now, yeah? But I appreciate you calling, bro. Yeah, me too. All right. No problem. No, no problem. Call back in another time. You asked a really good question, man. Call back in another time. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. All right, take care, man. We got Alex, man. That was a good question, bro. Um. Okay. Let me see. Let me shout out the Super Chatters quickly. Quickly. Yeah. Um, we got Daniel for the super chat. He says, no matter your race, height or phys physicality, get power and become your best high value self. You're the protagonist of your life. Take action now. Yeah, this is the thing. At the end of the day, my, <laughs> listen, if you want the best dating strategy, the best date dating coaching, get power, bro. And if anybody else tries to come on YouTube, try to say that, you know, they got it for me and I'm on their neck, bruv. And I'm deaf. If that's one person I'll know I'll go for, yeah, is if someone tries to pirate what I'm saying. Because all these other guys, they're coming with their little strategies. Oh, you got to do this. You got to do that. I'm the man. Da, 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 da. These guys ain't the man. Most of these guys are nerds, bro. Most of these, these other YouTubers are nerds, bro. They just got lucky on YouTube and now they want to get a personality and try and act like they've been getting girls from before. No, you wasn't. You only start getting girls when you start getting YouTube AdSense money, bruv. Yes. You think I don't know, bruv. <laughs> Most of you guys only start getting girls when you got YouTube AdSense money, bruv. And then when you're talking to girls, you make sure you let them know that you're on YouTube. I'm this guy on YouTube. Guess what? Girls that I'm dealing with, I don't even tell them I'm on YouTube, bruv. They don't even know. When I first meet girls, I don't tell girls I do this thing at all. They don't know, bruv. Not until I, I get to know them very, very, very well. And probably it ain't until I've slept with them and then they'll then I'll tell them what I do because then I've already secured the bag because I know she's gonna carry on sleeping with me. <laughs> so <laughs> this this is it, bruv. You get me? That's why I tell you don't don't name drop these people. These people are nerds, bro. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of times they show their card, bruv, because when they try and talk to women on their videos, you can tell they're excited. The girls are already treating them like they're above them. Bro, you've never you've never had no girl come on my videos and make me look like um I'm simping after her. It don't that don't happen, bruv. It ain't happened before, it's not gonna happen, bruv. Do you know why? Because I deal with girls in real life. That's why. Black and white. <laughs> Do you know what I'm saying? But anyway, next. Who's next, man? Um so next super chat. Be like Lefty 206. Okay, Lefty's come back. He said, You me, you misunderstood me, bro. LOL. It's okay. Limited space to type. I was basically saying, even at my height and experience, etc., I still get attitude as well. Yeah, but okay, cool. You get attitude as well. Alright, cool. Well, maybe I, I got the wrong end of the stick. But um 
But even but even with say with that said, you get attitude as well. But bro, you still probably convert your conversion rate as a six ten pro basketball player going around the world playing basketball and everybody knows you're playing pro basketball your conversion rate with girls that are black white or whatever is going to be higher than the average guy that is not six foot ten and playing pro basketball bruv like come on <laughs> you know what i'm saying like it's real like that man it's real like that my brother we got lefty for supporting though man i appreciate that and that's what you should do if you if you disagree or you think I've got the wrong end of something, bro. Hit the super chat. Show some support to the channel, my brothers and sisters. Real simple. And hit the like button. If you haven't hit the like button already, hit it right now. Don't make me have to beg, bro. Real talk. You know what I'm saying? Uh, we're only three, three, three likes off of 300 likes on this one, man. Let's go, bro. Let's go. Let's get it. All right, cool. Um, big up Michael Mitchell for another super sticker, my bro. Appreciate that. All right, Jake. Yo, what's good, King Riches? Yeah, what's good, man? What are you telling me about this? Black men are simps for white women. What do you think about that? Um, so the last time I seen uh, a black guy, I know get to her very serious relationship with a white girl. She was like a plain Jane type. You know, she wasn't the hottest, and you could really say he was the average guy. He was much shorter than me. Um. And when they were dating, like, she was really, really thirsty for him, bro. Mm. Really thirsty for him. It was to the point where he broke up with her. So okay. I'm going to tell you right now, in the States, it's a little bit different. In the UK, yeah, it might be the same way it was here back in 06, 05, when it was, you know, pretty much impossible to get non-black girls. But And no one said it's impossible. Like, that's really, really no easy. one said like, it's like, impossible. Right, right, but you know, at a point it was. Yeah, but I'm saying, but I never said this. I, yeah, but I'm saying, I'm not saying in any case it was impossible. I'm just saying the reality is that most majority of them are not on it. That's what I'm saying. Uh, I think if and, you go to certain countries, yes, but in America, that's like highly tolerated here, bro. Like if you were to go to America, like you might even find it easier to get with a, a plain Jane looking white chick than it is to get with a really hot black girl. Is it going to be easier to get a plain Jane white girl than it is to get with a plain Jane black girl oh, as a America black guy? In America for certain, man. Wow. Okay. <laughs> okay. So so what you're saying is, so if so if what you're saying is true, yeah, in America, because you're not saying nowhere specific, you're just saying America, yeah? So that means if I was to get on a plane and go to America, yeah, if what you're saying is true... That means that the majority of couples, I would see whether it's a where it's a black man in that couple, couple, he should be with a white woman or a non-black woman. Correct. That doesn't automatically mean that, though. So what? So so what is happening then, bro? <laughs> I'm just saying, like, it would be easier for a, a certain type of black guy to attract, a, like, a very basic white girl, as as it as compared to attracting a very very attractive girl from his own race mm. yeah but yeah but yeah but obviously it'll be easier because the girl is a uh, average she's plain she's average of course that's not even uh, bro i never said that um oh you if you're a black guy i never said black guys are going for plain white girls when they can get hot black chicks i never said that i've never said that bro I'm what I'm saying. What I'm saying is that black guys, yeah. What what I've seen a lot of times, UK and America, bro. Yeah, is that a lot of times we see them, we see black guys doing IR. Not every time, but a lot of times you see them with girls that are not all that. They're just not all that, bro. Like, and then those guys will be the ones to. Well, maybe not those guys specifically, but then you hear, and then the next thing you go on social media, you hear black guys talking about, oh yeah, black women this, black women that, and Becky's are so much better. But then, bro, what? Are, who are the Becky's that you're actually getting with? Just plain Jane to sub sub plain Janes. Like that's yeah, not something to scream like, about. Go on. Yeah, but it's been like you're not gonna see these black guys walking around with the with the, with the ten out of ten black girl. You won't see that, bro. That's yeah, but it depends who you are. Yeah, but that's the same in any community. That, bro, that, that's standard, though, bro. Like, I you're not going to see... You're not really going to see average... Like, I agree with you, yeah? That you're not going to really be an average black guy and you're going to get some 
bad B, black girl. That that yeah, I I agree with you. That doesn't happen. It don't. It, it can't happen these days. It doesn't happen, and it don't happen okay. in the UK. It don't happen in the UK either, bruv. <laughs> yeah. Now, now, now look. Can a can an average white guy get some banging white chick? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, bro. yeah absolutely. Talking. Absolutely. I've yeah. seen it. <laughs> bro, my friend, my friend, my friend, my friend. I keep. I always t t say this example, bruv. Yeah, my friend. He was a trash man, bruv. He. I don't know if he still is, but he's a trash man. And guess what? I think now he's engaged to a pretty Becky, blonde hair, blue eyes, bruv. White boy, bruv. I'm gonna go ahead and take it even further. I'm, I'm gonna say this, bro. Me, me, and this white guy play for the same uh, soccer club, right? Except he, I graduated from school recently. He works at Chick Fil A. Mm. I thought I was gonna end up, you know, walking away with the hot, light skinned black chick. No, dude, that was him, bro. Mm. He ended up dating the, the good looking black girl, and he's really a nobody for real, you know. Mm. So I would even go ahead and go farther and say, an average white guy can even pick up a really, really, really hot black girl easily. I think as long as he's got at least, when we say average, he's got. A, like he's definitely he's definitely not below average, but he could just be like flatline average, and he could get a nice looking like ethnic minority chick. I will say that. That's what I will okay, say. Okay. This guy was short. He had missing teeth, and works at Chick Fil A. Wow. Wow. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, that's mad. That's mad. I'd have to see that couple, bro. I'd have to see that couple. What they look like, bro, to have a really fair analysis of that, bro, because that's mad, yeah. bro. But, 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 but my thing is this year, like, just be, just because, okay, you're saying, you're saying in America that it's easier for a black guy to get, oh, okay, let me ask you this. Do you, do you think in America it's easier for a black guy to get an average white girl than it is to get an average black girl? Ooh, depends who that, who that black guy is around. If that black guy is in a majority white area then yes because that average black girl would think she's the stuff you know what i'm saying no that doesn't even that doesn't actually make sense because if she all thinks right, she, if she thinks she's if she thinks she's all that wouldn't that make her more harder to get yeah that's what i'm saying i'm saying i'm saying that for the black girl if a black girl is in a majority white area she can be average and she's gonna think she's all that nah i don't i don't agree with that I don't agree with that. If a black girl is in a predominantly white area where most of the girls are white girls, you think yeah. that that black girl is going to think that she's the top the top of the totem pole. Why? Why would she think that? When it, when it, when it, when it comes to black girls, yes, bro. When it comes no. to black girls, yes. No. I don't, that, that doesn't... you got to explain that to me. You need to explain it, bruv. Go on. Yeah, especially if she, if she average... And she already a minority race. She's just gonna be looking like, okay, most black girls ain't even finna be average. Most are finna be sub average. So if I'm the least of average and I'm already a minority, okay, these black guys are gonna go crazy for me if they really like black girls. Bro, 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 bro. bro. But yeah, but, bro, what are you on about, bro? You're saying, okay, let's let's break it down. You're in a majority white area. Yeah, so the, the 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 frequency of black girls, period, is gonna be very very low volume, very low, bruv. Yeah, so right. I'm saying an average. I'm not saying a six. She, the girl's not even a six. She's a five. Yeah, and then she's around all these white girls that are yeah. Some of them are below five. A lot of them, a lot of most of them will be fives, and then they're gonna be a load of girls that are above five. Yeah. Okay, You're I'm trying saying. to tell me that that girl, that black girl who's an ethnic minority and think about all the negative stereotypes that black girls already have, yeah? And you're trying to tell me, even with that being said, that black girl is going to think, oh, I'm in, I'm rare. And so, yeah, that makes me special. Okay, I don't yeah, think bro. that the psychology yeah. don't work. It don't work like that, bro. It don't. If she want to date her own race, then yeah, for certain she's going to think like that. She, is she only dating her own race? Then yes. But if she tried to date black guys and white guys in that area, then yes. She yeah, but then think real, about this. The black guys are going to be a mi minority as well. So she's going to be like, she's going to be like, the first black guy that comes along, she's going to go with him. 
more than likely, as long as he's decent, he doesn't need to be above average. He could just be flat average and she'll go with him. That, me that means her ego is not inflated. That means that she's going to be more humble. Because the girls that are more, like, arrogant, they're the ones that are going to be like, nah, you're not good enough for me. There's a better option waiting. I'll just wait. Yeah, but then again, I would go ahead and say that most of the black women in that area ain't going to be average. Most are going to be below average. <laughs> bro, you can't, you can't say, you don't know that, bro. It depends where you're at, bro. But I, I do get what you mean. I do get you what you mean. But it's like, that doesn't automatically mean that. The, because you got to understand. Think about this, bro. It's not just that. She's not going to just be looking at the other one, two, three other black girls in her area. She's going to be looking at the white girls as well, which are the vast majority. And guess what? She's going to come across a lot of white girls that look better than her, bro. And, the, and she's going to see black guys that are going to go with those white girls. So actually, that's going to bring her self-esteem down bruv that's not gonna boost the self-esteem up it's gonna bring her self-esteem down because the the guys that she probably likes are gonna be going off with white girls because there's more white girls walking around yeah but if she looking for black guys that only want other black women she shouldn't be worried about she ain't gonna bro bruv blood <laughs> blood do you understand in your example there's only a finite number of black guys walking around of that finite number, a lot of them are going to couple up with Becky's, bro. It's probably, and, and more than likely, she's not going to be thinking, oh, I don't like him because he likes Becky. She's just going to like who she likes. She ain't going to care. Mm. Mm, okay. Do you, get, do you get what I'm saying, bro? Like, she's just, all she's going to know, think about it. I don't know, but I've had this in my own life. I've been out with girls that are non-black and I've seen black girls look at me and look at her and give the girl evils because I'm the type of guy that they like. They're not thinking, oh, oh, King Rich, or Michael King. Uh, I don't like that type because he likes girls that are not black. No, they're thinking that, that I like that kind of black guy. He should be with a girl like me. That's what they're thinking, bro. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> so like this is what i'm saying so like yeah that, that my okay my question is yeah okay so back to the question yeah in america because you've general you're generalizing the whole of america because what would be smarter is if you actually said specific places but let's just run with what you said in america is it's easier for a black guy to get a plain jane white girl than it is to get a hot black chick yes i agree with that yeah okay cool but at the same time, I say majority of white girls are not on it. Even if they're playing, majority of them still ain't gonna be on it. But there are so many there that you will be, you probably will be able to get one. Yeah, boom. But what I'm asking you is, in America, do you think a black guy who is average has got a higher chance of getting an average white girl to an average black girl? What do you think okay. is gonna be easier for him to get? For the black guy that is probably still going to be easier for him to date that average white girl wow and that's simply because that's simply because it's just more white women than there are black women <laughs> yeah but then it goes back to it depends where you're at it yeah but it depends where you're at it depends yeah but bro it depends where you're at just like what you said initially you said it depends where you're at you said yeah. if if the if the if, if the if the black girl and the white if the if they're all in a white area then it's going to be e it's gonna be easier for him to get the black girl that's what you said but i'm i think the more my logic is that it's gonna be easier for him to get the black girl in either location bruv yeah but i'm just going off the balance of probability saying that it's gonna be more white people in general yeah but, but the, yeah but the, the frequency yeah but the frequency doesn't matter if the if you know no matter where you're at the majority are not on it so it, it, it don't matter bruv <laughs> Right, it don't matter. Yeah, because think about it, like, bro. If you're in a, if, bro, you're a black guy and you're in a black area, bro. There's more average black girls walking around, so the chances is you probably will be able to get one of them, bro. Then when you go to the white area, the black girl is probably not gonna have a high self esteem, and she's probably gonna and and your the number of, of black guys there is low anyway. So if as soon as you meet her and you show her that you like her, like her, she's probably gonna be on it, bro. But in that same white area, them average white girls are going to have more white boys to choose from. Okay, okay, okay. 
Do you get what I'm saying now? So either way, you he, the black guy's gonna have better chance of getting a black girl in either side. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, my bro, you tried, you, you tried, you, you did try. Yeah, it makes it makes sense. Yeah, go on. If you compare it to the amount of white guys, then yeah, I, I get what you're saying. Yeah. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Because because it's more of them for them to try it with. So. Yeah, and then and then and then it goes back to if the average black girl. She only likes black guys, and then she's in that white area. She don't even have much options. <laughs> she has to go with the first guy that comes along because she don't know when she's gonna see another one. <laughs> yeah, she has to take him, Rav. <laughs> that is funny, bro. That is too funny. Mm. Like, I really haven't talked to a black girl in a very, very, very long time. Not in a, not in a dating serious type of way. Mm. Most like, like the new dating uh pool that I've that I've been introduced to has been pretty much all non-black since I've been here for the last five years. Mm. So you know, it, it has gotten a little bit more difficult for me for me personally to see black women. Yeah, uh, it look. Uh, trust me, location plays a huge part in this as well. Huge, 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 so, huge. So. Like I'm not gonna, I'm never gonna. It's like when the um when the other brother asked me um about if if a guy is in an area like a white suburban area, everyone's white. He grew up with mostly white people, blah blah blah. Then he ended up dating a white girl. What would I think about that? I'll be like, well, you can't begrudge him because that's what he's in. Like that's it. Like working with yeah, what he's got. Yeah. Like that's it. You can't be like, oh well, yeah, but you. Because this is the thing, I'm not saying black guys have to date black girls all the time. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying that, like, you know, black guys shouldn't simp, act like simps or pedestalize. Like, women are women. Agreed. Do you get what I'm saying? That's all I'm saying, like, do you get what I'm saying? So, and I'm saying, you say, yeah. I'm saying it too many times. <laughs> but, yeah, that's all it is, bro. Like, yeah, for sure, for sure. I'm not going to rebel to you too much longer. I realize you got some other callers on the line, but, you know, appreciate the food for dog, man. Hey, no problem. Hey, you, 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 you tried your best shot, man. It was good. It was a good try, bro. Like, I like that. I like that. I like being tested. I love that, bro. But, um... I wasn't trying to test you like that. I was just, I was just saying, like, like, normally I try to see if, if other black guys' lives are similar to mine. So I just try to compare and contrast okay. a little bit. Yeah. You know, I have been talking to a lot of non-black girls recently. I ain't kind of been sucked into that dating pool. And I was wondering if you know, other black guys were having that same experience as me. So, let me ask you this. Do you think, do you, let me ask you this yet. So what is your, have you faced any obstacles dating interracially? Hello? Have you faced any, have you faced any obstacles dating interracially? Um, if, if there, if there's yeah. none, that is cool to say there's none in it. Like, but if you have. Like race based obstacles? Yeah, like, like, oh, like, they, you know, if this was a black girl, I wouldn't really have to go through this type shit. Um, yeah, one time I was dating this white girl named Mallory, and she would have had to just admit it to her brother, was in the military, and he was racist, and he couldn't be around me, and she admitted that her parents were like, the way she described it was they're fiscally conservative, but mm. they're socially liberal, and they're trying to be, you know, more integrative toward other races. And when I met her parents, like, it was just super awkward. So, yeah, Ooh. I definitely could say I encountered, you know, some some hurdles there. But um, some women, bro, some women, you know, like, when they, when they like black guys, you know, they're really into black guys. So, um, you know, I know, I know this one this one girl, like, she got a BLM poster in her room and stuff like that. Like, she'll she'll make sure her parents are with it, you know. But, but you know, you're definitely going to come across some that have a, have a racist background for sure. Absolutely. It's facts, bro. It's facts. And I'm so glad that you said that because a lot of guys, they're just in this f fantasy mind of like, oh, yeah, it's all going to be like perfect. Like, there's no relationship that's perfect, bro. Like, <laughs> nah, it ain't going to be peaches and cream, dude. If you got a brother, or sorry, if she has a brother, yeah. her brother going to look at it awkwardly because there's something, in the, there's something in the white community where they're taught to be disgraced if their sister or daughter have black boyfriends. Yeah, is it like not all but a lot of them like not, not all not but all. a lot of them man, like it just it just it just looks it's just it 
it's I don't know, like imagine I don't know, like it's just a bit mad, isn't it? <laughs> it's just a bit mad, bro. Like, you know what I mean? Like, but anyway, bro, I appreciate you calling in, man. You done really well, man. I appreciate. It. Call back in another time, fam. For sure, as always, man. Uh, You're chopping it up. Yeah, definitely, team. definitely. Hey, take care, and I'll talk to you soon, man. Likewise. All right, peace, peace, peace. Big up, Jake. All right, big up to uh, Daniel for another super chat. He says. There were times when I saw white men same height as me with 5'11 Asian women or white women. No lies. Yeah, bro, I, bro I'm not going to lie. <laughs> Recently, I saw one of, like, the height difference between the man and the woman was, like, it was it was very, very obvious. And, bro, the guy was walking very, very confidently. And surprise, surprise, the guy was white, bro. And, yeah, the girl was white. Yeah. <laughs> no issues. No problems, bro. Uh, big up snapshot reviews for the super chat. He says, most black men don't get access to top tier women of other races. Some go to Thailand, boast they have a feminine Thai woman, but she's a former <laughs> worker. <laughs> yeah, bro. That's what I'm saying. A lot of these guys talking about go get your passport, go out there. Bro, they just want to go and buy box, bruv. Really and truly. You get me? They just want to go and buy box. All right, cool. Uh, Shamarkna. Uh, hello, can you hear me? Yeah, what's going on, bro? Yeah, bro, how you doing, man? I'm it's good. Been a long time, man. Yeah, man, let me get right to the point, man. Like, uh, what I was going to say about black women specifically, when you see, um, like, most black men, like, I see a lot of people talking about white women, but most white women I see on the street that I've been on the street today, they're not really all that attractive. I hate to say this. I don't want to come off as, you know, racist or anything like that. But, like, most women in general are not all that attractive anymore. To me, I don't know what it is. Like, when when I was younger, obviously, I don't know what it was. But now, the, like, the, the, the most women I see are just random. Like, they're not all that. The, the, the face... No, I get I get what you mean. It's like, they're just... Uh, just it's just... There's, there's nothing, like, hot there. It's just... Yeah. It's just it's meh. Just the same. It's just meh. They all have, they all have the same faces. It's not really all that. Most of, the woman I usually find her. By the way, there was one chick I remember. She was, I think, a mixed race black girl. Mm. I don't know how these white men do this, but they always seem to get the best looking black woman. I don't know how they do this, mate. I mm -hmm. swear to God, it's really weird, man. Like, how do they do this shit? Um, it's and called, it's, it's called, it's called a uh, social engineering, bruv. Yeah, okay. It's called social engine. It's called social engineering and hypergamy, bro. That's what it's called. No, yeah, yeah. But like, I remember, and there was a white dude with this obviously mixed race black girl. Mm. And as soon as they saw me, obviously I'm a big guy. You know, I'm what six three. Mm. And when they saw me, the, the white guy started getting scared or something. He started acting really intimidated. Weird. Intimidated. Yeah. yeah. The, bro, me. Like as soon as I came out of the like corner. And I was taking the elevator. We had to take the elevator. Mate, as soon as the white guy saw me, he immediately started acting weird. I don't know what happened. And I felt that. And I was like, I was looking at them. And they looked at me. And we were looking at each other all the time. I don't know. <laughs> but the, so the funny cool, thing bro. is, the funny thing is that scenario has happened to me so many times. Like, it's just so <laughs> weird, bro. And do you know what, yeah? It's just like, what, what, what happens a lot of times, yeah, is like, Sometimes these, sometimes them, them white that guys are not even small guys. Sometimes they're the same size as you, yeah. But it's like they got the, like I don't know. And I, I always think it's it's those white guys they haven't they don't have no black friends, because they they'll see you they're with their girl they see you first thing they'll do is probably like hold the girl tighter to them, or they'll start hugging the girl or start kissing the girl or doing something extra. To show that, yeah, I've got her. Or either they'll just start acting weird and acting, like, nervous. Like, like the girl and the guy will start acting. Oh, bro, I've been in that situation so many times, bro. It's just so weird, like. And I just think, bro, I don't care about yeah. you. And I don't care about that girl either. Like, you two are both weird, bro. Like, get a yeah, life, mate, like. like the, yeah. That, that was exactly how I felt. I was like, what what the, what's it, what does he got to do with me, man? I want to go home. I would take the elevator. I don't really care. That's exactly how I thought as well. It's mm. crazy. And there was another incident where there was a white man with a black woman. Mm. Uh, there were two of them on the same day. And the white...
like to look to me. Yeah, I'm, 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 I have a, you know, I have a black woman. I have a black woman. So like he, you know, he, he looks at you like, yeah. So what? I'm with a black woman. What can you do about it? And I'm like, okay, so. Nah, I, okay. for what? Okay, so for my 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 uh, um observations of when I've come across that is like, yeah, maybe the guy might be looking at you like, so what? I'm with a black woman, yeah. So what? Like, he might be looking at you like that. Or what I usually get is the black woman will be looking at me a lot, and it's not yeah. like she she's not. It's not like she's looking at me like, oh, I want to I want to sleep with you. She'll just be looking at you like to see if you're looking at them kind of thing yeah. like it's weird like it's so weird like she's waiting to see if you i guess if you're gonna start judging her for being with this white dude or something like and it's just like i don't care like i don't care i don't exactly, care bro, exactly. <laughs> it's so bro. weird bro like it's so so weird i was bro. training me Man, I was training the other day, right? And there was this black chick, and she really did not look all that. She was really not attractive, and she was this with this six foot eight black or white guy, mm. and she looked at me. She was staring at me the whole time as I was training, and I'm like, <laughs> "No, what the fuck do you want from me, man? Why are you staring at me for? What? Like, man. Man. but to be honest, uh, to be honest, man, like, stop. Don't even what." Like, when these people look at you, bro, like, just ignore it, bro. Because at the end of the day, what difference does it make? If they look or they don't look, what difference does it make? You know what I mean? It's just, it's just, it's not even worth even thinking about it and thinking, why, why, why? Like, it's not even worth it, bro. Like, do you get what I'm saying? You know what I mean? The one other incident as well, I remember there was one chick, uh, I think she was Ethiopian or something like that, and she went with, I think, some non black guy, right? Mm. And she would, like, troll us all the time. Yeah, I'm with a non, you know, non-black guy, and my life is ten times better. And blah blah blah. The the thing is, is I saw you talking about black guys, but black women have it too. The same thing. Yeah, you, this yeah, this I know. Yeah, 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 bro. I know that, bro. Like, I'm just saying that. This like, I'm addressing this, is, this. Look, bro, bro, bro. Yeah. I'm addressing this. Cause at the end yeah, of the I'm day, sorry. there's there's countless videos of black guys talking about how sisters you know, go on and on about the, their white boyfriends and stuff like that. And I've done videos about that as well. Yeah. But today yeah. we're addressing this. And this is what I'm yeah, saying. Like, sorry. sometimes we need to address certain things. And yes, our black guys are not going to want to hear it. But you've got to hear it, bruv. And that's it. Don't twist it back to women again. It's, we're talking about us here. Like, do you get what I'm saying? So... Like that's that, but yeah. anyway, yeah. Carry on. The you gotta be quick though, cause I wanna just I wanna yeah, finish up. Yeah, go on. And um, the thing is, is like most black guys, I've had a couple multiple times where the most ugliest. Well, I don't wanna be disrespectful, but the most unattractive non-black woman would gravitate towards you, and then the good-looking ones usually, like if you're like the, the thing, if you don't look like the stereotypical black guy. Like, you know, the typical West African look, like, you know, the sub-Saharan real look. They will like you because of some fetish. And if you don't look like the typical black guy, then they see... They, like, you're just fetishized all the time, regardless of how you look. I don't care if you have straight hair. I don't care if you have, you know, non, you know, non-African features. If you have white features, you're always fetishized, regardless of the situation. If you're black, I've noticed that as well. Yeah, um, man. Nah, it's real. It's real. It's real. But, bro, let me move on to the next caller, my bro. Yeah. yeah. All right, bro. Man. See you around, man. Thank I, you very much. All right, no problem. Call back in another time. Take yeah, care, bro. bro. Okay, bro. Man. Thank all you, bro. All right. Big up, Shah Mark now. All right. Um, all right. Let's go. Tally how, tally how. Yo, what's going on? King Peach, man, you know, I, I, I was, uh, I just wound up catching your shows my first time seeing everything, man, and now uh, I want to get the insight up, man, like, <clears throat> it's really about the, the, the mind, man, like, you know, and this whole thing, because you got a lot of, like, unprivileged brothers and sisters out there who, you know, might not be on the good looking side or might, might have felt left out or undesired, and soon as any kind of person they feel that's a upper status shows any kind of attention especially being white because that's kind of like the the lie that's embedded in most people's head that's that's a greater than you know uh group of people so what you have is like a bunch of displaced uh emotional
emotions and 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 and, and hearts getting caught up in in a in somebody else's perversion, you know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, whether it's a white woman or a white man, and you know, dealing with a dealing with somebody black or black woman or black man, they got at an agenda. They got some type of motive, you know, or why they're dealing with you know this type of person because they are already taught that, or or been told that that person is less than them. Mm-hmm. So that's why even on the TV you see like the the the, the bad white boy find some a nice black girl or you'll see this rich or athletic or you know what I'm saying uh black boy find them a you know what I'm saying you know some white chick or whatever the case may be but in actuality you're gonna see uh you know a white woman working this brother because she knows she got a, a trick or a victim or somebody who's not all the way there together she knows she got somebody off or she knows she could genuinely care like a very few genuinely care now it's, it's some good white women out there who are strong and genuinely care about you know people in general yeah. but for the most part it's a catch to it you know what i'm saying it's never just, just it's like it's, a, white it's a very it's a, it's it's a risky game like at the end of the day like it, listen relationships are always a risk in general yeah but it's even more of a risk that like like especially if you are affluent black guy like if you're a black guy that's got money and success clout and you know you've probably only dealt with black girls in your whole life. Now you've had doors opened up to to more options, more flavors out in the world. And as a man, you're gonna wanna listen. As a man, you're gonna wanna to be real, to be real about it. To be real about it. As a man, you you're gonna wanna sleep with all types of women all across the world. That's that's just the truth. Blood. I just have to say it there. I'm trying to say it in a nice way. No, bruv. I'm going to say it in a real way. Blood, majority of men, if in an ideal world, we'd have girlfriends of every race and creed, bruv. Every shape and size. Yeah, guy like guy like me, bro, I say, I, man like me, I say I like g- girls that are taller than average, bro. But guess what? I see girls that are short all the time that I would love to have in my stable or roster. Love it. I'm like, like bro, I'm like that's how it is. I'm Go on. I prefer a volleyball or or basketball type, uh, you know, what I'm saying height wise, you know, type chick, you know, some a chick that's like six feet plus. But for the most part, though, you re- you rarely can catch that. So what you got to deal with, you got to, you know, what I'm saying, deal with the shorter. No, no, no. But what I'm saying, what I'm no, 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 no. But what I'm saying, I'm not really saying that. What I'm saying is that most guys like have like different types, bro. Like, there's not just one type that we're attracted to. We're attracted to all different types. So yeah, as a black guy, yeah, you're gonna be attracted to black girls, and you're gonna be attracted to white women, and you're gonna be attracted to Asian women and Indian. Do you know what I'm saying? And all and all different types. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's supposed to be like that, but in hindsight. You gotta always remember, like that's why I say it's about the mind. Because if that brother's been told that, or that sister's been told that they, you know, that they're less than this person, they've been taught that they're not worthy. And all of a sudden, somebody, you know, white or whatever, comes to them, and you know, or they've been in a relationship with somebody white or whatever, they they tend to go on the deep end. Mm-hmm. You know, now don't get it twisted. It is some good white people out there who have who, who would, would uh assist and help, you know, brothers and sisters and stuff like that in time of need so people feel like they obligated to be, you know, that caring and trustworthy to them. But at the same time, though, people do things for their own personal reason. You never know why, whether it's good or bad. People, Some people just only care that the job got done. Mm. And I think that the, 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 the caption on your post is dead on because for the most part, not all, definitely not all, because I, I ain't never done that. But, but but most part they will simp. Yeah. They will simp. They will simp. And I'm talking about they'll cut you off, they'll, they'll cut your throat, they'll slice your throat, talk bad about you, do dirty mac, you say anything bad about you to this white person just so that person won't see nothing into you. You know what I'm saying? Cause they, 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 they trying to figure out how they got it. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? Yeah, that shit is crazy. That shit is really crazy for real. But bro, hey, I'm I'm over three hours deep in this, man. Is there a last like point you wanna make? Cause I wanna like run through the callers and like finish up, bro. Yeah, I'm a, I'm I'm a, I'm gonna cut it short, man. I just wanna say like you know it's 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 something that's inevitable. The only reason that it's not popularized like it's like it's getting like it had like or back like back in the day is because they had to keep racism to separate the minds and to keep on doing what they trying to do with the agenda and the system and stuff like that. But at the end of the day, whites gonna have to interact with blacks. 
because the sun get closer and closer, and you know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I mean? It's just simple as that. You know what I'm saying? I think that they they, they, they try to blackball it and make it taboo but right now because they, you know, the mind ain't ready to, you know what I'm saying, be explored to the next level. Yeah. And so at the end of the day, interracial dating is cool, but at the same time, you got to be careful of the haters out there, the people fixing your food. Like, it's all kind of shit you go through in this type of game, you know, dealing with white women or with me, me you know what I'm saying, or any, any, you know what I'm saying, but I'm just speaking for the next black man who choose to, you know what I'm saying, you know, dip outside their race, you know, everybody's not for it. But. I just, I just feel like, I just feel like it, <laughs> As a as a man, when you're dealing with women, you better be careful. Period. It don't matter what she is. <laughs> it don't matter what color she is. You better be careful either way, bro. But I appreciate you calling in, man. I appreciate that um, you calling in. Call back in another time, bro. Peace. All right, peace. Take care, man. All right, cool. All right, we got two more callers. D, you're next. D Johnson. What's, what are you telling me? And your device is doing a madness. So sorry about that. All right, cool. Wale. Unmute yourself, bro. Yo, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you, bro. You're the last caller. What are you saying? All right, cool. <laughs> so so I'm Lefty206. I've actually called in a couple of times before. And I was. Uh, I, I think that even with my second uh, Super Chat, you still didn't get the, the full gist. Okay, okay. Lefty206, so cool. Let's go. So, so I was actually, you know, um, kind of just expounding on the point that you were making about, you know, um, what we as black men go through in terms of dating, especially interracially. Yeah. And the reason why I was giving my attributes and my experience and so on and so forth is that even somebody with my stature and experience and how I carry myself and how I speak is going to get the attitude and you're going to get the, all the fetishes and stereotypes projected upon you. So I was saying... How much more, if you don't have those attributes, is going to make things even more difficult, which overall ties into, you know, what uh, I realized a long time ago and something that's great that you always reiterate in terms of getting power and building yourself up. So then you can have a lot more autonomy and control of the type of ladies and the options of the ladies that you have in your life. That's basically what I'm saying, but... It's okay, no, no, I, I, the super chat and stuff. yeah, no, I definitely no, I, I'm, it's, it's, I'm happy that you really came up through and clarified it because obviously I got it completely all messed up, yeah, and um, like yeah, I yeah, bro, like what you're saying is is spot on, bro, like even even you at six foot ten, pro, uh, basketball, all of that, going across the world, blah blah blah, like. You're still gonna face it, bro. So yeah, what, what, you know, I would say that you probably you're in a better position, and obviously you you realize that you're in a better position than a guy who's not six foot ten or playing Absolutely. ball. Absolutely. Like, but yeah. So what you're saying in regards to so if you're you don't have those advantages, it must be even like crazier. And yeah, you're you're absolutely correct because exactly. the thing is, even for me, I'm not six foot ten, but I'm six one. And I'm not broke, and I've I think well, girl, women tell me I'm good looking. I seem to have a good um, CV and re resume of women, but bro, I, I I can see there's guys beneath me that they have it harder than me, and in certain respects, I have it hard as well. Do you get what I'm saying? So it's just like, bro, like they, like for instance, when I like I go to certain places where I live. And the girls, the women are not interested, bruv. It doesn't matter that I'm, I'm taller than the average guy. It doesn't matter that I've got muscles. It doesn't matter that whatever. They don't care. Do you get what I'm saying? So that's just where it is, bro. Like, so, yeah, yeah. man. It's, it's, so, it's so, so just to give a, a quick example, um, because, and the reason why I specifically, con I mean, I comment and you're on your stuff all the time. I try to support whether super chat or otherwise as much as possible. You know, like I said, you're doing something very important. Um, and like you said, you actually were, were doing a lot of those messages before Kevin Samuel, so yeah. I'll give you props for that. But it's because I've heard you say Seattle several times, and so I just wanted to reiterate that even in places that are quote-unquote multicultural, I, I'm not even going to get started on a rant, but uh, <laughs> it's still segregated even in places that are like multicultural, if you really, really get down to it. I went to schools that were predominantly white, and then I went to a, a high school that was a little bit more black, even though it's still predominantly white. Yeah. Um, and you'll still see, even in the quote-unquote Tyrone or whatever the you know, kids are saying these days, or you know, the people I'm 
in my later 30s, so I'm even a, a few years older than you, um, is that it's still like, so before I moved like to uh, the city of Seattle, uh, my family was living like a little bit north of Seattle. And um, just to give a quick example, there was one of my neighbors, he was like this small, skinny, scrawny white guy, and I'm not trying to bag on him. He's a cool dude, but just to give a description. Mm. And he had a girlfriend. And there was this, um, like, cute, like, mixed-race black girl that um, was living basically, like, in between us, right? Mm. And this girl, she had the audacity to tell me, even though she knew that he had a girlfriend, oh, well, tell uh, Scott, no, nobody knows him, Scott, that um, I, I, I really like him and I'm trying to get with him. And I just looked at myself <laughs> like, this is when I was headed to college. So I'm like, I'm this big, like, anomaly type of dude. In my opinion, I'm very handsome, so on and so forth. I have a lot of things going for myself. But I'm still coming in second place to this, like, skinny, scrawny white guy that's, like, smoking cigarettes and this and that. So, again, that just illustrates the point of what we talked about and why, again, it's important to build yourself up. And then you'll have more options in life. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And, bro, like, this is what I'm saying, bro, like, Bro, I, I had the I had the situation where it was like um I had a f I got a friend, yeah, white boy, cool dude and all of that, but bro, realistically, in the grand scheme of things, if we're both in London, I'm gonna get more girls than he is, bro. Yeah, just based on physicality. Yeah. Like but in this environment where I live, which is predominantly white based, white girls that like white boys and stuff like that. He's going to do better than me. And I remember we we was having, we was like kind of like dissing each other, like, you know, banter, playfully, like dissing each other and stuff. And his girl was there. And then like, he got to a point where he was like, oh, but I'm better looking than you. Like you, that like, I'm way better looking than you. And it's just like, bruh. Yeah, like, I you saying that. Like, I, and I actually got upset because I was just like, the only reason you feel confident to say this is because we're in this little pocket location where you know that all these white girls here are going to choose you because you're white. Exactly. That's literally well, it. Like, that's literally it. The... Like, <laughs> but in reality, yeah. if we get into the a real fair arena where it's not girls that are just going to pick a guy just because he's white, like, you are no contest to me. Like, and it actually pissed me off. Like, I remember that day. I still remember it clearly now, bruv. Like, I'm cool with the dude and that, but I was pissed off because I knew he knew what he was doing. Like, like, and it was just like, bro, like, so I get what you're saying 100%, bro. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, it, it really just goes back to societal programming. Yeah. And how that infects us all from a young age. Mm -hmm. You know, I work with, you know, high school and middle school kids. I coach and mentor. And the reason why I felt it was important to do that is because I'm like, all right, by the time people are even in their 20s going into 30s, their minds are already programmed and they see the world through a certain lens, especially mm -hmm. when it comes to how they view black people and even how we view ourselves. And so yes. I'm thinking, okay, well, how can I be a soldier of change? And the best way I thought that I could do that personally was to reach the kids before that programming got too deep. So mm -hmm. that's what I continue to do with my life. And we all have different ways of doing that. Like I said, you're doing a great thing. And so it's important for all of us, instead of only talking about these things, but to actually take action as well. Yeah, man. Absolutely. Absolutely. Hey, bro. I, I really appreciate um, you calling in. You're the last caller. Is there anything you want to say in closing to round it off? And then I'm going to end it after you. Um. I don't know uh, how much you, um, you know, like read in terms of books and stuff. Obviously, um, you, you seem very well educated and, you know, uh, knowledgeable. But there's this guy, Neely Fuller Jr., that um, he's been uh, basically like um, talking about, you know, racism, white supremacy and things like that for a long time. So if you have an opportunity, check out. He has a, a ton of videos on YouTube and things like that, Neely Fuller Jr. And um, you will get, I think, uh, even more enlightenment and understanding of how you know, a white supremacist and the racist power structure uh, affects the entire world. Um, so, you know, all of these dynamics that we talk about, that you talk about all the time, it, it touches all of that stuff. So that would be something uh, definitely good to check out. Other than that, 
keep doing what you're doing and I'll keep uh, trying to support as much as I can, man. Awesome source. I appreciate that, my brother, man. I appreciate that highly, man. Hey, make sure you um you, you keep watching and calling into the show and all of that stuff, man. You've been a great caller and, and you, you rounded off the show perfectly. I appreciate that, my bro. Yeah, absolutely, man. Stay safe, man. The world's dangerous out here. Trust me. Yeah, man. Hey, stay safe. I'm going to talk to you soon, man. Take care, fam. Appreciate it. Yeah, God bless. All right, man. Big up, big up, big up. All right, cool. Listen, this has been an awesome, awesome show. The cooler, the cooler line is closed. Yeah, this show has been epic. It's been epic. That's all I can say. It's been very, very epic in here. Yeah. Um. Yeah, man. Listen, if you're watching this on the playback, make sure you support by cash at pound sign King Riches one. Yeah. And all that good stuff. I right, go watch the other the video I just done about black guys um, wanna be criminals and rappers and stuff like that. Make sure you go watch that video. That video is epic as well. I just do epic content over here, okay? Epic. Yeah, and I don't need a table full of bimbos to do it. And I don't need to be a bimbo to do it. I'm me on my own. Yeah, ten toes. <laughs> do you know what I'm saying? So. Listen, big up to everyone around the world. I've got a very international platform. Big up to everybody. Um, love, yeah? Love to all my peoples out there, man. Take care of yourselves. I'll be back with another video. Um, another more, more very thought-provoking topics. Very real stuff, yeah? You lot take care of yourselves. And make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you leave a comment underneath this video. Leave a sensible comment under this video. Otherwise, your, vote, your, your comment will be deleted. Simples, yeah? And also, leave a like under this video. Don't forget to do that. And leave um, your like count. All right? So, whatever number like you add to this video, let me know in the comments below. Listen, Michael King, King Riches, you know what time it is, man. Come on, man. The most, the best, under, most underrated YouTuber on YouTube, man. You know what it is, man. You don't take care of yourselves and I'm out. Peace.